はい Gotta put all my. When I learn to code next semester, I'm gonna I'm gonna create a Python script to do all of this setup stuff for me. <laughs> uh, you can ask uh, Python to do it. I chat mean, GTV, <laughs> chat VT. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. I guess I could. I guess I could. <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to do everyone. Oh, crap. I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> Ugh, fix that. Hopefully. Luckily, I think it's disabled for that. It's only in this channel, though. No, no, no. I did everyone oh, at... Uh, I'm on a somebody else's forum that I post. Oh. oh. Yeah. So everyone would, would spam everyone, which is not good. We don't want to. We don't want to piss off other people that are being nice, you know. Okay. So then I gotta go to Twitter. Oh. oh, you have to modify it a little bit. Interesting. Creating some prop assets for the main teaser scene for game. Second stream of the day. There we go. Interesting. So Twitter verifies whether or not you said it already. That's kind of cool. Looks like everything's good. Kilobytes are good, no frames loss. I am testing a new codec, so I'm going lossless to Twitch. We'll see how, I wanna see the difference in quality. See, yeah, I'm not getting any, any bitrate loss to Twitch, which is nice. Like, I don't, if I can get that to work for YouTube, oh well. Oh well. Uh, let me change my settings to reduce the quality down to 360. Uh, better not be in Vinick. Yeah, I don't. I don't, honestly don't know why um, the stream quality is so crap when I'm going to YouTube. I don't know. It's crazy. But it's it's perfectly fine when I come to Twitch. So. It to make no sense. Good to have you back, Master. For the second stream of the day. We're gonna go, uh, so I finished off basically naming all of this. I'm not going to kind of go any further with this specifically. Um, because I think that's going to kind of get in the way of what I'm trying to do right now. So we are going to make a chair. Uh, and so 
we see the player here. Uh, we're gonna make a chair for the player. So let's move him forward. What the heck? There you go. Um, Mester with the resub. There you go. You're always subbing, Mester. 63 months. That's almost as long as we've known each other. <laughs> Not true at all. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, it's from Vulcan days. It is definitely from Vacuum days. I appreciate the sub, Master. Always supporting me. Through the silence. Hey, I like it. Which you actually reminded me I need to turn stream elements on because I need to make sure I know who's doing what. When it happens. I had somebody in here earlier with uh, basically saying Hitler is alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was like, oh my god. Whoa, na 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 na. How are you? Happy holidays to you. Good to see you. It has been a long time. And yes, you are correct, uh, Master. We got that Vacum, the good old Valley of Crescent Mountain. You know, so. Uh, the funny part is one of the guys that I've been watching, kind of like tutorials, Prismatic Dev, um, he's now, he literally just got hired on to go make a farming sim. Um, and so I was watching it, I was watching it yesterday and I was like, what the heck? It's a, it looks like an interesting game. <laughs> How are you, Kla? Nah, 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 nah. Did you have fun with the, your, your uh, holidays? Okay, so we're gonna make a gaming chair. Well, not even a gaming chair. We're gonna make a chair for uh, work. He's gonna be working. We need a chair for his work. I need some source reference material. So we're gonna go to the the world's greatest appendterest. Oh, that's a cute little picture. I don't know if I can share this on the screen. Set the timer on, dude. <laughs> Ten minutes, no more. <laughs> Right? I'm about ready to enter the, the dreaded halls of the Pinterest. Um, office, chair, future, design. Oh, that's a cool one. I like that. That's interesting. Um, holidays for me were not bad. I'm just kind of relaxing and chilling. Doggo and me made some food. Now he's sleeping behind me, relaxing like a good old boy. Um, I'm mostly trying to get some, some game dev in so that me and Messer can hopefully get this thing finished. <laughs> and release my, my first ever game, you know? Ooh, that's a cool design. I don't really know how the heck that's gonna translate into a chair. Like, what the fuck? Oh, that's a hover chair? What the? Hover wing would be cool, I guess. So I need office chair. I'm pretty sure I typed in the word office chair. Uh, okay, I, I just now realized that you guys can't see this because I turned off temp delete me, which doesn't work because I deleted that. So brave, there we go, Hala. Okay, cool. Yeah, so now you can see my window. We'll put it over here. You can see what I'm looking at while I'm looking at it. That would be kind of cool. That's a cool, interesting chair. I mean, I'm not gonna have that in an office, but that's, that's super cool. That's like something you would have your children for and like, you fucked up. Okay, I so we're in the office, right? And we're we're coding at our little desk. And what would we do? Um, I'm up to making video games. Here, I'll show you. 
So I'm currently working on a uh, zombie survival game, which isn't really zombies, they're actually cyborgs. But I'm making this. Put some pants on, some clothes. And so right now we're we're making the 3D models for uh, this whole level and everything else. Earlier on the stream, we created this, which is the server racks. I'm now making the chair for this table um, and desk, which is the computer that you're gonna sit at. And so I'm just making the, uh, the stuff for that. So, yeah. Can I give myself a weapon? No, I can't. Giving myself a weapon is broke. But that's okay. And this is this is the zombies. Their AI is kind of tarted right now, but we'll get it we'll get it there eventually. They're supposed to eat the dead bodies or come and chase me and fight me and jump on me. So like they're trying to attack me right now. And they're supposed to jump at me. And then sometimes they can get caught on to you, but for whatever reason or they don't caught on, catch on to you anymore. I love that they have physics. That's my favorite part about them. They have like real life physics. So they'll jump and dive and get stuck on things. They can open doors too. Bam. Server rack with very realistic physics. <laughs> yeah, the server rack from earlier does not have realistic physics. That is a true story. That thing is, woo, it had issues, but you know, whatever. Oh, it's up to me. Okay, let's go back to our scene. I think we're in Maya, right? Okay, so we just need to find a chair that I'm okay with that looks futuristic-y that would kind of be something that you would have inside of your office. Um, again, maybe we don't go super futuristic-y. I don't, I don't really know. Like, it, I, I love my chair. Like, I absolutely love my chair. And so if I had to sit in my chair in my office all day for, you know, 90 hours, and then I would be fine with that because I love this chair, but I don't have this chair at my office. In fact, my office chair sucks. Um, that's kind of interesting, except for it's immobile. It's a platform. It is interesting, though. Oh, that's that spider design. Oh, that's pretty cool, too. But we're doing a stationary debt. What the, what the F, what, what the F? Yeah, we're not doing that design. Ooh, that looks cool. That wouldn't really be good for an office. What the, is that a bucket? This has gotta be for a, a car. Those are for cars. I didn't say car, I said office. What, what am I looking at? Don't get me in trouble, man. Jesus, Pinterest trying to get me in trouble over here. Um, so I like this design. The only problem with it is, again, it's stationary. I need something that's mobile. What if we made a hover chair? Oh, that'd be cool as fuck. And then you just like move the chair around. Bro, I do lots of Pinteresting. I am a Pinterest whore. I don't actually like post anything to Pinterest, but I love using Pinterest for ideas and design. It is, ugh. <sighs> Magnifique. And to be honest, um, it it was created for my ex-wife. She would she would actually use it. And then I I just started using it whenever we started doing game dev stuff. On my screen there, you see what the uh, chat GTP, what it's called, I think is uh, Office Chair of the Future. Uh, uh, I haven't seen it. Hold on, let me see. It says, it's difficult to predict exactly what 
features an office chair of the future will have as it will likely depend on advanced in technology and materials as well as changing needs and performance. Adjustability, ergonomics, health and wellness features, sustainable materials, connectivity. Um, I, so I like that. I mean, it's not wrong. Chat GPT is, is correct in that sense. Um, like I said, I think a hover chair would be sick, but I don't think, uh, yeah, it's a long story. Not one for streaming. Um, but I think, uh, like a hover chair makes sense to me, like, right? Like there's gonna be a pad where your, your chair charges. <laughs> it's like, it's its power. And then like, cause then you could like literally just move it around and you could set the setting. You could like press the button and then it'd be like, and it'd go lower or higher. I'm thinking like Rigel from, um, uh, Rigel from Farscape. Like the hover guy. Let me see if I have any images of him hovering. No, they probably don't. Cause they barely, they almost never show him actually hovering cause then they had to render his feet. But basically, he has like a little hover chair that you sit in and then he just hovers around the whole time. I see that as being the future. Like if we're being serious, serious, like that's probably the most, the, the next closest iteration of chairs. So that's what I'm thinking. I, I really like this design though. Like it's crazy. Mom. I just don't want to have to make a hover. <laughs> I don't want to have look, to make. Look at this. Uh, look at this show. Uh, what is? It? Hold on, sorry. Right. Let me open it. I gotta go full screen. Um, but how will it look? It's difficult to predict right. exactly. It's the same text, basically, right? Can you condense this differently? to one paragraph? Okay. An office chair of future yeah, might yeah. feature adjustable ergonomic design elements to provide. An office chair of the future might have a sleek and modern appearance with smooth surfaces. And curves, yeah, I, I agree with that. Scroll down. Right. And, and um, built-in health and wellness with only feature. Physical. Yeah, dude. I mean, how how can this chat bot do this? Thing? Because it's, it's using the the fucking machine learning crap, man. That's why. Ugh. It's, it's incredible. It's bad. But uh, <clears throat> now that we have an accurate description, right? Um, where is those uh, bots that make um, text to image? Oh, you have to pay for those. What this one? <laughs> there might be a free one. I don't know. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, you're you're trying to replace me live on my own stream. Wow. That's yeah. A, that's a dick move. <laughs> Back here, right. So I you're like replacing. Go. I like this design a lot. Um, I think this is accurate. And I think if we make it hover, then we'll have the answer. Cause I think that's the, I honestly think that's the answer. So um, let's uh, let's get into some designing. Let's, let's do this. So I kind of have an idea of what I want it to look like already. And then um, we'll just make it look like that. So let's go into Maya. Uh, oh wait, I got to turn that off. But up. Okay, so let's block this out, right? Um, first, we need to have the seating area kind of defined, and we need it to be able to fit his entire butt cheeks. <laughs> okay, and so then, like his butt cheeks take up about four. So let's give them some extra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do seven. Um, Cause you know, in case he gets fat later on in his life, you know? Uh, we wanna bring that in a little bit. Yep, okay. Okay, cool, that's a good seating guy. Do people really like office chairs without the arms? Um, so like the one, I don't really know how to describe it. No, um, the ones that I have right now, I'll show you what I have. Who doesn't get fat later on? I mean, I mean it's a good story. You're, you're not wrong there either. Uh, actually, I got skinnier, just so you know. I got skinnier, but uh, that requires um, 
a great sacrifice to your, uh, what is the word? Um, your mental state. Yes, let's go with that word. Uh, okay, so let me see if I can look up what I got for my chair. When did I buy the chair? In 2021. I think I bought the chair in 2021. Yeah, I did. I think I bought it in Christmas time. Oh man, my ears itching. Or I bought it right before Christmas time. Let's go. I'm trying to find this very specific uh, chair because then I don't have to move my 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 crap. Uh, okay, that was all when I was in Arizona. That's pretty close. When did I buy that? I bought it in Arizona? I did buy it in Arizona. Damn! Okay. So let me show you the chair I got. Uh, super expensive chair. Absolutely love it though. And then the Navy destroyed it while in shipment. Because that's what they do. Um, well, I, 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 like I said, I wouldn't call it a freak of nature. I think it's because, you know, like I said, I went through some crap. Um, okay, so this is the chair I got. And I absolutely love it. And these arms are nice. I, I would honestly recreate this design if I could. It's super easy and chill. Um, but it's an expensive, expensive ass fucking chair. Um, it's the T80. The Sadiz T80, it's one of the higher rated ones. And I love it, stands the test of time, good lumbar support. Um, the cushion is nice, it's lasted. I got it in June, so it's almost, I've had a year and the cushion's not, you know, messed up or anything else, so. And the back is nice, but as you can tell, um, when they shipped it, they destroyed the, uh, uh, what do you wanna call it? the headrest because I didn't take it out. I didn't think about it. I could I could have taken it out, I guess. And so um, it got bent or whatever or something got put on it. And so it bent it. And so there's a little area. Now I could probably cheat it and put them back in. Um, I haven't really tried, but I'd like to have the headrest working again. Oh, I'm not even sharing my screen. Bad. Blech. There you go. I thought I was sharing it. My bad people. You got to tell me when I'm being a scrub. Be like, yo, you being a scrub. Anyways, um, so yeah, I absolutely love the design. Then this has got the arms that are go up and I've got them all the way down now so they don't get in my way. And I, the reason why is is because I felt I, I, what I was doing, I was resting my arms and then putting my wrists in a weird position. So I stopped and just got rid of it all together. And now I just kind of hold my, my arms up. But I again, I absolutely love this chair. Lumbar support is awesome. <clears throat> the headrest is the hot, the thing that it gets all the flack for that they say is like pointless. And I, I kind of agree is very, very pointless. The armrest, what I like about it is they swivel up, down, left, right, and then they, they go back and forward. I, I do a lot of the, the forward because then it gets more of a, like when I was resting my arms on it. Anyways, where I was going with this is we're gonna make this design right here. So let's get back to doing the design. Um, okay, so that's that's too big, but we're gonna we're gonna leave it for now, uh, and we're gonna kind of shape it. So if I look at the design here, they have a middle part that connects the two together, and then they have the two pieces that are separated out, um, which makes sense, right? Um, I... You're being a scrub now? Wait, what? Not showing the picture of the chair you are trying to describe. Oh, well, I'm, I'm kind of just... Good point. I was... Well, okay. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks. I was really kind of just talking through it, but you're, you're, you make a good point. I should probably show it. So, right here, they have the top part and the bottom part. And what I'm thinking is I'm going to have it be two pieces just like this, but not have that huge of a gap in there. And then I'm not gonna have this this stand. We're gonna make it hover, and so I'm gonna put hover pads on the bottom parts. 
So that way it kind of hovers um, and we'll, we'll deal with that logic later. But in the meantime, we'll just make it kind of like sit there and hover. And then we'll have a pad that it can hover on or we'll just let it hover anywhere that we want. Really haven't decided that piece yet. I need to make a, bu a button for that so I don't have to, to alt tab over into that. <laughs> so the car, the, the uh, chairs can hover, but our vehicles are still wheeling around. Uh, no, I think our, I think our future, I think the iterations of our vehicles are going to be hovering. Again, we're talking about this is in the future lab. This isn't, this isn't in the the sticks. This is the the actual science lab where the most futuristic tech is happening. So everything here should be top of the line, you know what I mean? Uh. Um, okay, so we're gonna duplicate this and we're gonna rotate it 90. <laughs> okay. So if he sits down, we want it to go up to the back and up to the back. So right there, that's good. Okay. Okay. So let's kind of just visualize, right? His butt is sitting here and his legs are out, right? Um, so we're gonna kind of just visualize here for a second. His legs would be out. We'll have to probably raise it, but I mean, it's about right. Yeah. Because that's the feet, where's the feet line? Right there, yep, okay. And so then this would be rotated. We're, we're cheating this right now, and it's not gonna be, look good at all, but we're just kind of cheating it so I can see. Um, yeah, so that's perfect height. Right, because he's sitting nice. Uh, that works. Okay, cool. <laughs> this music is a little hard. Let's, uh, let's go for something a little bit more. There you go. That's a little bit more soft, right? A little bit more loving. Okay. So... Um, the backing is fine. I think we should probably bring it up. Maybe to there. And then we'll bring it in to the neck. So let's bring that in and that in. Yeah, okay, good. And um, now what we want to do is we want to kind of offset. So we're just going to bring it up one. That's up two, I think. No, nope, it's up one. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, good. And so we're going to grab this and bring that out. Oh, no. Oh, I can't train. It's only on Z. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> okay. Let's grab this face here. Oh, wow, that was way too much. There we go. Okay, so that looks good. Um, and so <clears throat> I agree with your concept that it needs to have arms. So 
So I'll bring that down. Rotate, that's too much. Rotate that a little bit. Okay, so that's just the cup, right, of the seat. Um, and then... It's coming in too far, so bring this here. Uh, well, let's bring it in two. Yep. And then bring it out. One, two. And then let's shrink it in. Yeah, there we go. Nope, that's bad design. Okay, we'll bring it down and rotate it forward. Maybe just a slight, yeah, just, just slight. There we go. Okay. We're just gonna work on one half for right now. Um. Okay. That looks good. Um, and then we'll bring this in. I don't need that. Um, let's rotate this inward. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I'm, I'm probably going to have to fix all of this, but... Fine. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing back there? Chill it down, doggy. Making weird noises. Okay, so that should come to about right there. I don't really know what I want this to do. I'm pretty sure this needs to be like this, right? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I don't know what this is doing and why. Ugh. Okay, so maybe pull this in this way. Yeah, okay. And then that comes this way. It's kind of close. It's not perfect, but kind of getting there. Because that's got to come this way. Maybe line it up. Yeah, okay, cool. So oh, cool. And so then this, 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 this gets lined up here. What the? What the, what the Oh, so in that case, this should be lined up there, right? Yeah. And that's got to come out this way. And that's got to come out this way. That's like it's coming in. Yeah. Um, okay, so that that's fine there. And that's gonna come down, right? So that's where his legs will lift down. Um, Not that drastic, right? It's just kind of basic. <clears throat> okay. Screw it. We're coming up. we're gonna bring it in. We're going drastic. I want drastic. And then we'll we'll shape it from there. 
see what we get. Okay, I don't really need this anymore. What are you doing back there? <sighs> Making loud noises. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, pull that in just a tad. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. So we'll pull this in here. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Um, we need one, two, three, so that I can play with it a little bit. So this will come back, 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 rotate, uh, rotate so harsh. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Okay, and then put this at a Kind of a, a lean downward. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So it'll have little hover pads on the side. Heck yeah, okay. Um, so let's increase the fidelity. You. That's less cool. So, I mean, it works for this one down here. I basically need to bevel all of this, and then after I beveled it, I'll um, kind of add more, all right? Yeah, do that. And then I need to bevel the edges. So I'm gonna bevel the edges. That makes sense. Make sure it all looks good. It does, except for that's a little fucking wonky, but whatever. Now add it, there you go. There you go. That's a nice clean design. I could probably get rid of some of those edge loops. Like those middle ones are fucking pointless. Um, but that looks better, right? Like here's your butt cheeks. Sit it down, right? Um, okay. And so we'll do the same thing on this back. Bevel. Make sure it looks good. It does. And then we'll do the same thing. We're going to add some topology. Oh, that looks good. Look at that. That looks real good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm super happy with that. Um, okay, so then we just need a, the connector piece and we need... Um, which isn't hard to do, right? So this comes here. This is gonna be the piece that kind of puts it all together. So here. Um, 
Um, maybe make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Cool. Okay. So then we grab this. And all we're going to do is we're just going to line this up as we go across. So we're going to come back up here. Maybe we, we'll follow each one of these breaks. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, do it again. Come up. Do it again. Come up. Do it again, come up. Uh, so at this point, we need to kind of rotate it because it should be, yeah, okay. And so do it again, come up. Do it again, come up. And do it again and come up. And we'll even it off here. Okay, so let's rotate this and pull it. And then rotate this and pull it. I don't need that one. Rotate this to where it matches that, and I'm gonna rotate this to where it matches that. Uh, we're gonna throw another one right here. Okay. Um. Yeah, looks good. Okay. So let's uh, let's add the edges. Okay, I think that's all the edges. We can. Yep, that's all the edges. Cool. Uh, bevel that. That looks good. Cool. And then we're going to do the same thing. Add more geo. Nice. Why is that like that? Uh-oh. That's why you got to check it. I didn't grab the one on the inside. Now bevel, there we go. And then, there you go. Okay, cool. So let's uh, let's just check and see what it looks like. Um, file, export selection. We're gonna call this uh, chair science lab 01. Gonna import it. Props, chair, science lab, cool. Looks pretty. Uh, we'll do silver just so it matches all the other stuff that's silver. <laughs> Basically, like a flat stream look on this bad boy. I'll pull it in here. Nice. Yeah, see? So if you walked into the lab and you saw that chair, it, look, it would look like a fit, right? That has no back support. Oh, get out of here. No, hell no. Hell no. That, but, uh -uh. that has no back support. It looks like it fits the butt. That's fine. But that back support is garbage. Okay, good to, good to know. I'm glad that we tested that out in there. 
That's some garbage back support. Uh, okay. So... A couple different ways that we can fix this. Um, we'll do this. I think if I expend it... I don't know. Crap. Crap! This is what happens when you do it in segments. Which I should have never have done. Uh, let's just extend it. Let's try that, and then we'll make it fatter. And then I'll bring this up. Okay, let's let's see how this looks. Yeah, let's see how this looks. Um, and and this was a little too extreme. Export selection, uh, chair. Where is chair? Zero to be. Well, it is a hovering chair, yes. That is how it works. Okay. This is much bigger. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, okay, that's some good back support right there. If he sat down in that, he'd have the support he needed. Now, we'll make cushions so that way it looks a little bit cooler. I'm, I'm just doing the, the general layout. And, and I like that, honestly. I like that a lot. So that's what we're going to stick with. I think it fits. Um, I think it looks pretty. And I like it. So we need to make a head part, right? Um, and then uh, we need to... So a head part, and then we need to make the, the cushions. So the cushions are pretty easy. All we need to do is um, bring in a square. Yeah, there you go. And so then we'll have it like this. And that's about the, a good size for the cushions. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we'll have one big back cushion for the lumbar. Let's let's do this. Let's make sure we line it up. Uh, okay. And that's fine for size. Okay. Cool. Um, so we'll duplicate this. This is gonna be that size. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. And then this will be two. And then the next one will be two. And then we'll have one that's one. That should probably be two. Just fuck it, we'll make it two. Okay. 
Okay. So we got a nice little layout here. How, wait, what? How was that? I don't know how that works, but okay. Oh, that's how that works. I trucked some logic up. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's our cushions for here. And then our cushions for the bottom should match this same size. At what, 90? Yeah, 90. I mean, I don't really care. Uh, that part. So this will be two. Yeah, okay. That'll be two. Okay, cool. Um, so those are our cushions. And then um again we're gonna have two little floating things. I don't know if I want so let's take a look, right? Um, oh crap, I was, I don't know how that happened. Oop. I don't know if I necessarily want, like, okay, so this thing is like floating in air, right? Um, do I need the little thing? I guess I can make a version with and a version without and then go from there. My chair tipped over. What are you doing, dude? He's, he's such a cutie. He's like sitting there with his paws crossed. Like a cutie you little... You need to add uh, some physics to this tongue. Right. I pose and, and shut so that it actually hovers. Not right now, but yes. We will definitely do that. I will I will go back and watch the videos on how to add the hovering component and we will add the hovering component so that way this hovers. <laughs> no, but the hovering component would be cheating now. What? No, yeah, that's... In, we're yeah, not the, doing physics. Get out of here. Physics. No. You let me know whenever you figure out the physics for... Uh, the actual real life physics for hovering. And then we'll go be billionaires and not worry about game dev, okay? <laughs> no, but that it's easier in the Unreal than in real life. I'm just okay, saying, we can like, just add, add the impulses. Yeah, that's what the that's what the component. You does. just make like uh, four thrusters or something in each side, and then you adjust. Yeah, that's what the that's properly. what the component does. Nah, it's just cheats. Whatever. It's okay. We don't want physics on this chair. No, it, sure that's anyway. crazy. It's a chair. The resources needed to, to manage this is like, we, we need it to be zero. It's a fucking chair. Although I am curious to see what it looks like when I do simulate physics. Simulate physics. Oh, I can't even simulate physics on it. What the, what the, what the F? Oh, I'm in the world settings, that's why. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see what happens. Let's, let's see. It probably just falls over and rolls, yep. Just falls over. <laughs> well, that's de 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 definitely what I want with my chair. Ugh. Ugh. Get up there, chair. Physics, it's like Skyrim all over again. You jump on the table and then all of a sudden everything flies away. Oh, no, I thought I could get it to stand up. There, there, there. Come on. Just on the lip. Uh, yeah, oh, fuck you. Whatever, I'm done. It looks good, though. I like it. It looks really good. I really like it. Maybe I'll make, maybe I'll make a non-hover version. I don't know. 
But the um, uh, sitting animation, no. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna definitely need that. We'll do that all in this stream because I, I actually went through this chair faster than I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna spend twenty hours on Pinterest, but I didn't. So <sighs> that's good, I guess. Right. Check my IG real quick. I'm waiting for a response from my homeboy. We'll see if he responds. Well, makes sense, I guess. Not meant to be in that sense. Okay, so we need to go back here, go back to Maya. Let's finish this off. Should be pretty quick. Um, so we're, that's why you bevel. That's because otherwise, whenever you do that adding, it would fuck everything up. So let's do point three. Uh, point three. And then you do that. Jesus. What the fuck? Okay, so let's go ahead and kind of shape these. Um, we'll put this into position and kind of rotate it a little bit. Uh, well, let's do modify center. Let's center the pivot on all of them. And then we'll rotate.
mais. Okay. So now we kind of have that that real feel like it's kind of shaped and contoured. It's not perfect, as you can tell. It's not flawless. Um, we can also get rid of some edge loops. Like, I don't need this edge loop. I don't need that edge loop. I don't need that edge loop. I don't need that edge loop. Oh, crap. Okay, well, I guess I gotta do this. And then I can get rid of this edge loop. Oh, wait, oh, I want that one. Uh, well, no, I get rid of that one. 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 Yeah. Okay, cool. And so, um, that will create still a good look. And then we can get rid of like, I don't need that edge loop, I don't need that one, I don't need that one. Like that's a lot of wasted. It's cause we created uh, all that extra, right? So um, when we come in here, we can, what is he doing? He better not be eating anything. Are you eating your paw? You better be eating your paw. And nothing else. You eat some wires again, and I'm gonna have to beat that booty. Um, okay, so let's do that for this one down here. If I don't give him attention, he decides to uh, teach me a lesson, which is, Dad, I'm gonna eat your wires and cables. I was pretty pissed off at him when he did that shit. Okay, so with this, we're still getting that same shape. We're just not, you know, costing ourselves all of that. And in fact, I would argue this shape is probably a little bit better. Um, again, we'll probably maybe throw another one in here and another one in here so I can kind of curve it inward and make it really match that, that look and feel, but we'll play that by, by ear. For now, this looks good. I'm not, a, I'm not opposed to the way this looks. Oh, crap. I got rid of that. What? Oh, Rebecca. Why it's important you follow the processes of order. Okay, what did, I, what did I do on these? I did two, right? Yeah. Okay. Would it be considered animal abuse if you coated the wires in hot sauce? No, actually, um, for my, my last animals that I had, that's what I did. So we used, uh, what do we call it? Um, that vinegar crap. I can't remember what they call it. It's got a name. I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, we used that vinegar crap. Um, bitter apple. There you go. It's not even vinegar. It's bitter apple. Yeah, we used Bitter Apple on my English Bulldogs because they were fucking horrible. <laughs> He's actually not been that bad. Um, like, he could have been way worse, but luckily, um, he's been pretty good. It's just whenever I, I don't give him enough attention and he likes to remind me that I am I am required to give him attention. So he acts out. He's like, Dad, it's it's time. I need some love. Which then results in him going into a cage. So it kind of defeats the purpose. But I think it goes back to that whole concept of a child who doesn't care what kind of attention they get as long as they get attention, you know? Like, as long as I'm getting some kind of attention and then I've done my job or whatever, you know? I don't know. 
I'm not a psychologist. Okay, let's do the save real quick. Done lots of changes. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this and see what it looks like. Let's see if this is on par with what we're aiming for. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I need to make it look not as as silly. Um, we'll line up those different things so it doesn't look so silly. Because right now it looks silly because of how it's lined up. Um, but we'll fix that. Past that, it looks very patty, which is good. And we'll fix this so that lines up with those. Overall, I'm happy with how it looks. This is a chair that I would sit my booty in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go back over to Maya. Make sure that this all kind of lines up. So it looks like it does. kind of play with this, right? This is going to come in. This would come in. This would come out. And that would flare out a little bit. Okay, cool. Mm, no. There we go. And then bring that in. I don't know why it's incrementing. I don't know if I set it to scale or something. Very interesting. Uh, I'll do that one next. I don't want to do that one just yet. Because there's going to be a bunch of tweaks for that one. So it, that way it matches the line. Let's just uh, let's just get this lined up first. We're, we're close. Oh, what the? Oh, that's one way to do it.
Okay, cool. Uh, I think everything lines up and looks good now. So do a save. Yeah, everything lines up now, so that's good. Um, okay, so we need to kind of let me get rid of some of these extra lines here. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Perfect. What the, what the F? How did that happen? Okay, it all cleaned and fixed up. It is, cool. Okay, so for the sake of kind of creating this, we need this to match um, the distances, right? So pull this out. Pull this out, pull this out, and then pull this out, right? Okay, cool. And then do the same thing for this. We'll pull this out to match that. Oh, grab the whole thing. And then pull that out to match that. Uh, how aggressive do I want to be? Uh, fuck it. Let's be aggressive. Okay. Um, okay. So, with this concept, uh, let's take a look and see what we got now and see how it looks. It looks nice and clean here. Um, obviously, you know, this isn't, uh, this isn't the game, but it looks nice and clean here. Uh, we'll probably need to, I don't know where he went. Oh, he's over there playing with his toy. Um, we probably need to line up some of these, like this needs to be lined up to that. That needs to be lined up to that. Um, and then I need to get rid of the extra, sorry, I need to get rid of the extra faces and stuff, which we can do right after this. But let's see what it looks like in game. Um, file, export selection. That way we kind of have an idea. We always want to be kind of checking and making sure that it looks good in game. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I, I like that. That is a chair I would sit at. Nice lumbar support. Oh, I forgot to enable physics on it. Son of a beesh. Son of a beesh. We don't want physics. Now let's pull it in. Because that's what a, a working desk looks like. Let's get rid of these clothes so we don't have any extra lighting. Get rid of the pants and get rid of the belt. We'll, after Mester gets those fixed and cleaned up, we'll kind of play with those a little bit more. Okay, 
let's see what that looks like. Yeah, looks good. It's what a, a normal desk would look like. And there's the computer screen. Yep, looks good. Okay. We'll have to make a sitting animation. That'll be next. Uh, Cause I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need a sitting animation and I'm gonna need a, a typeity typeity swipeity swipeity animation. Cause that's what he's gonna be doing. He's gonna be sitting in the server room and all of a sudden the servers are gonna turn on boom, 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 and then he's gonna freak out like, what? So we're gonna need, we're gonna need all that. I hate coffee grains. Ugh. I have a pretty good filter, but it didn't. Get, oh, it doesn't always get all of them. Um, okay, so on, on the desk, I still need to make the computer part. Uh, we finished up, uh, actually, I could put that in here now. I don't know where it is. Somewhere in here. Where's the keyboard? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, so I actually finished up the keyboard. Um, so we can grab this. File, export selection, we'll call this uh, desk keyboard. I guess I should stop calling things science lab. I'll, I'll rename everything later. I'm, I'm gonna hate that. Uh, if you remember the Vacom stream where I did that, I made my life a living hell. Um, so maybe I'll maybe I'll do that. <laughs> Make my life a living hell again. So we have the keyboard, uh, silver. Save that. And so the keyboard comes in here. And it's a virtual keyboard. So it just connects to the desk. enough room for the feet no that is definitely not enough room for the legs see this is why we test this crap because I wouldn't I would not be able to get my fat legs in between that and the where I would be typing right you'd be like I need my I need my chair to go down um, but with as tall as the player is that's not really gonna work so I have one or two options I need to raise the table um, which is a pain in the boot but that's honestly the right answer. That is the right answer. So where's my table? Mm, 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 mm. Okay, there's my table. H. Yep. Okay, so let's grab my... This is all the chair, right? Control G. Let's grab that. Move it forward, rotate it 180. I'm gonna put it here, okay, cool. That way I know how much I need to raise the table by. Son of a biscuit eater. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad because we're just gonna move this up, but I might change the angle a little bit of some of those. 
Hopefully not too much. Uh, I guess we'll see whenever we do it. Um, okay. So essentially, if I grab this, this needs to come up one, two. Eh, no, one. That's more than enough room for my legs, right? Yeah. That's not too bad, honestly. So if I grab this and I just pull it up, what does that do? Can I, can I do that? Let's put this at zero. I want to see where that connects. Okay. So at the bottom line, uh, and we're going to go back up one, two, no, two. Yeah. We're going to go back up two. Okay. Let's just grab this and bring it up. One, two, three, because uh, this needs to be lined up here. It's not that bad. Let's let's see how that looks. Um, file export selection. I don't know if it's gonna let me check this out because I think I. Uh, what is this called? Science lab table. Table. What did I call this? Desk. Yeah, I don't have that checked out. So I've got to check it out. Uh, volumes. This is why I always just leave all the models, the source meshes checked out always. Because so, then I'm just gonna about ready to go check out the whole folder. 67 files later, and Mesher is gonna be like, you mother. Whatever. File, export selection. Save this as the desk science lab. And then we're going to file export. We'll save this as the desk keyboard. OK. So this should move everything up and give me proper room for my legs, which it did. Um, that's good. Bam. And the computer screen is good. OK, so let's go take a look at that and see what that looks like. Did it mess up my physics box? No, it did not. Heck yeah. Yeah, that might be a little tight, but we'll play with it if we need to. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Maybe it's not fine. What do you guys think? You think it's okay? Would you be able to squeeze your, your legs in between there? Right? So let's actually, let's do, I think I have an animation of sitting. Player. I think I have an animation of sitting. Didn't I make an animation of sitting? That's crazy. I didn't make it a sitting animation. Hmm. Interesting. I thought I had a sitting animation. Nope. Hmm. Well, good to know, I guess. <sighs> I think I can make a pose anime. I'm not going to do that. Did I make a sitting animation for the zombie? Maybe that's an innovar? No. 
Ugh, I could have swore we did one. I guess not. Hmm. Oh well. Okay. Well, whatever. In the meantime, I think it's gonna work. If it ends up not working, then it's an easy fix, and we'll we'll make it where it works. Okay. Uh, so now we have everything that we need, um, except for if I was to have dual monitor. You wouldn't want it to look like that. We'll have to figure that out at some point. What the dual monitor looks like. Because right now, it's one way. Uh, coffee. We're in it for the long stream today, guys. So we did three hours earlier. I think I can do another three hours, maybe four, maybe five, who knows? Maybe we'll go until I don't go, I don't know. Um, okay, let's go back to Maya. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, let's hide the, well, so let's call this group. Uh, this is desk keyboard. Hide that. And then where's my desk? Okay, so this is gonna be called group desk. No, oh, I didn't, I, wow, okay. I didn't make a, uh, I didn't make a uh, UCX file for this one. Oh, I'm okay with that. We don't need it right now anyways. Okay, so let's just to kind of even these things out real quick. Um, I can put one here, I can put one here. And the reason is because I, I do think that I should have kind of a little bit of, of floppy, right? I said floppy, ha, ha, ha. But I meant a bend. Looks good. Um, so we'll do the same thing up here. <laughs> nope. I need to half it. Make sure I half it. See, and this is a little small de Again, nobody's ever gonna fucking care. Nobody's ever gonna see this detail at all. They're gonna like watch my live streams that I've uploaded after the fact and be like, oh my God, he put so much detail into this. But for the time that I've done, like at the time of the game dev, they're gonna be like, what? Why, why? For why so care? Like, don't worry about it. Nice. 
No. There we go. What the? What the banana? Okay. For the most part, this lines up. So we, we added a little bit of shape and contouring to it, so it kind of matches and feels nice. We're going to do the same thing up here. Um, this needs to kind of be pushed in. Those two already kind of line up. But just for the sake of that. Okay, so that all looks good there. It all lines up. Cool. Um, okay, cool. So I think for iteration number one, the chair looks good and matches with what we want it to look like, right? Good old water. Yeah, so let's uh, modify freeze transformation. Um, we can group the things that can be grouped. So I think all of the pads can be grouped. Uh, and that, I mean, don't really. So you have the top part of the chair. You have the bottom part of the chair, you have this, and then you have the pads. Okay, um, so file, export selection. We'll save this as the chair. check it real quick see what it looks like looks good I'm actually really happy with how that turned out it's not like you know crazy over the top like over engineered design but it's simplistic enough and I think it matches kind of the overall feel and aesthetic something that you know you could sit in wouldn't be too hard. We'll have to make this kind of like be some kind of like material that can move. It needs a stabilizer at the bottom, which we'll get to. We don't need to do that right now because I'm still haven't decided if I want to make it hovering or not. I might make it hovering and then make up like a little platform at the bottom or something like the hover pad of where it allows it to hover. And then we could use, ooh, this might be a, this might be a good instance for the new 5.1 um, physics component. They have a physics component that you can attach. And I thought to myself, I would never use this. And the reason why I said that is because um, from what I've seen, it like goes back to where it was, right? So like if I made a chain or something like that, it would make sense. But in general, I don't know, what is he doing? No, no, stop, stop. Get your face out of here. Get your beautiful face out of here, go. Um, I never thought that I would use it. I was like, ah, no. Thanks, Mester. Appreciate. I don't, I thought I had bits notifications on. I guess not. 
Let me see if that worked. I don't know why that didn't work. Or maybe I did get the bits notification, I just didn't hear it? Where's my mouse at? What the... What the Ethel? Am I missing my mouse? There it is. I was like, what the... what the F? Uh... So... Yeah, I definitely... Okay, go to my stream tools. Overlays. Go to my alerts. Uh, settings, cheer alert, nice there, okay, so let's test it, um, cheer alert, custom, amount, oh, it has to be, I think it has to be more than one. think because one K work I don't know why that doubled up but okay oh crap that's why um yeah I think it's I think it I think there's a limit on it I don't think you can do it with one I have to, all right, well, we don't have anybody doing bits, so I'm not worried about it. I'll we'll have to play with the bits stuff later. Um, but I do have the alert there, so that's, that's kind of what I was curious on. I, I was like, wait, what? My alert's not working? There's no, uh, I can leave, I don't need to save. I don't need to save. You had me, you had me nervous. I'm gonna put this on this screen over here, just so I can see it when it happens. Um, okay. Wait, oh crap, I can't do that. Uh, everything's over there now. There we go. Okay. Anyways, back to where we were. Chair, looks good. No issues. I'm gonna go and do the animation now. For sitting. Uh, I've exported that so we can save. Ace, you better not be getting in any trouble, boy. Let's do an import of the chair. Crap, I don't even know where it's at. Uh, well, let's do workspace root. There we go, meshes, props. Where's the chair? Bam, what the, what the banana? Okay, he's back there sitting like a good boy. I don't know what he's doing. You know, being a good boy. Please be a good boy. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's do select hierarchy. So we grab all. And put it at 10. Copy. And there's nothing out here. So let's go out to three. Well, um, three, five, seven, two. Three, five, seven, zero. Okay, cool. So there's nothing happening. Comes back. Uh, I, I'm gonna assume there's a bunch of reload animations or something or drawing animations that we're gonna do at some point in time in this area. So we're gonna go to 4,000 and we're gonna start it at 4,000. Oh, Jesus. We're gonna start it at 4,000. And we're gonna paste. Wait, what? Why does his hands go down? What? 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 Ugh, these Maya graph crap, man. It's annoying sometimes. Um, okay. So this is gonna be at 
4,000, and this will be at 4,000 and two, because we only need two frames. Actually, that's a lie. We're gonna go 4,007, because I need five frames of whatever the heck this is. Okay, cool. And then two frames of the new position. So uh, let's put the player on. Let me get rid of pants. I don't need to see that. I don't see backpack. I don't need to see placeholder. Oh, wait, no, I want the placeholder head. Um, I don't need the gun. Can I move it? Okay, cool. I can move it. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's go to six and let's place hold this mofo. Uh, his feet both need to go forward. We're gonna be out here. This is gonna be down. Yo, he laxed his trucks. Get that booty in that seat, dog. He's gonna lean back a little bit. Yeah, look at him. He is relaxed. Heck yeah, look at him. That was easy. He's already he's already fucking perfect. Okay, so we have that there, and we got this there. That's a little far. Okay. Looks good. Um, I'm gonna delete some shit. What are you deleting? I'm deleting the obsolete inventory stuff, but then it also asked me now to delete the ALS play character because it refers to the old stuff. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Do it. I believe, I be I'm... Uh, Wave it down. Force delete. Ooh. Looks good. Okay, so we're gonna select hierarchy. We're gonna do a save. We're gonna go to the next one and save. And then the worst part about this whole process is the stupid graph. It's actually powerful, it's not the worst. But this is where it's gonna lag out and pos possibly crash. Uh, I don't know what kind of, I have a beefy ass computer. I don't know what kind of computers these people who do this for like big ass fucking um, companies. I don't know how they do it. Like if you're doing this for a movie and there's like thousands and billions of fucking frames and I don't know how they do it, man. Okay, so uh, we're four, six, four, seven. Let's create a bookmark. Uh, 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 how do I do, how do I create bookmarks again? Damn it. I don't know, uh, what? Maybe I'm not showing it. Oh, man. Ugh. No, Maya. Ugh, Maya is not working with me today. Um, I have no idea what this react button on Twitch does. How uh, does companies do it? Well, so, I mean, I what I meant is, is that's how they render it, right? But like, they don't have multiple server or multiple computers simultaneously working on one individual like asset frame. There's no way. Where's the bookmarks? Why is it gone? Oh man, I swear. So there's outliner, Where uh, animation, where's bookmark? Does it say bookmark? Dope sheet? What is a dope sheet?
Yeah, it says show bookmarks. Okay. Oh, there it is. I was like, what the fuck? Okay, so we're gonna create a new bookmark. Um, we'll use blue, because I didn't save my previous one, because I'm a dirt bag. Uh, we're gonna call this sitting. Um, and this starts at 4006 and goes to 4007. Add, okay, cool. I mean, maybe. Like I said, I don't have a thread ripper in this motherfucker, but other than not having a thread ripper, I have DDR5 at 64 gigs. I have a 3090. So, I mean, maybe they're like SLIing five cards to get. I don't fucking know. Maybe. I don't know. I just don't understand. Like, my, my beefy ass rig is barely chucking along whenever it gets out to the 4,000 frames for just one object. But it's, again, it's only whenever you cash in. So after the after you cash in the first time, you're fine. I don't know. Okay, so file export selection. We're gonna go to our animations, player, um, anim, player zero one, sitting. So we're gonna call sitting and then static because he's not doing anything. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, bake the animation. Four zero six. I don't know, what it, what does non-baking do? Hmm. Okay, so we gotta choose player zero one, skeleton, uh, animation time. Because I don't think I've imported animations on this new one. Invert scenes, advanced. Let's do import. Okay, so he's sitting. So let's check and see what this looks like. See, this is what I was trying to do earlier. I was like, what does it look like? Oh, nice, plenty of clearance. Look at them butt cheeks. Oh, nice. He's ready to code. Yeah, I mean, that's true too. I mean, if, if they would let me buy one, I would buy one. Hey, buddy. Let me look over your shoulder and see what you're working on. Let me shoulder surf. Oh, nice. That looks good. Good job. You keep coding up there, buddy. You keep coding. That's, that chair looks super comfortable, by the way. I I would love to sit in that chair if you weren't currently sitting in it and taking up space. Yeah, asshole. You know, you could share your workspace with somebody else, you know. Cool. I like it. I think it looks cool. I think it did. We did a good job. Sitting animation looks nice. Chair looks nice. Uh, so we don't need that chair anymore. Let's get rid of that. I'm gonna save that so I don't have to come back and do that again later. Um, it'll work for now. And obviously we might wanna do um, his hands kind of moving upwards. That might be something we wanna do. But right now we don't need to do that. I'm not really worried about it. I'm kind of happy with the way it looks. Oof. Well, 
Okay, so let's think about what we need next. I'm gonna look at my board. I mean, honestly, the rest of it's all kind of animating out and scening, which I'm not going to do for this specifically. Probably won't do that on the stream either. Maybe, I mean, maybe I will. I don't know. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do that specifically on stream. I'm trying to think about what I want to do on stream because some parts are, like I said, fun and, and interesting to watch. Hmm. I'm trying to think about the best thing that we can do. Because the servers I don't wanna I don't wanna texture that. Let's go look at the open world real quick. Maybe we'll do a weapon or something. We can do a tree, so we're not using these crappy trees. Mm, but it's been a long time since I've done foliage. Oof, it's been a long time since I've done foliage. I don't know about that. Um, I definitely think that this green is far too bright uh, for what we're going to eventually do. Maybe, uh, maybe I can do that. Eh, that's not a bad idea. Let's let's check that out. Maybe we will maybe we'll make this this world look a little bit cleaner. Uh, while I am loading Photoshop, I'm gonna go into this pickup. Uh, I found out that I the lights need to be a lot brighter. Um, so headlight intensity, I think we're at fifteen thousand. We're gonna go to thirty thousand. I think thirty thousand ended up being a lot better. I gotta. Let's test it out real quick. Okay, we're just gonna wait for nighttime to happen. Look at that volumetric fog. Ugh, so glorious. I'm excited. The real world, once we get it, uh, like, once we get the, the world populated, it has some nice grass and foliage. It's gonna look beautiful. Tree textures, mountains. I love the volumetric clouds. Okay, let's take a look. Turn my lights on, bam. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's super bright. And I can see it like all the way out to here, which is the way that it's supposed to be. That's how a car is. Uh, it just needs an emissive on the front to, to match, um, obviously. But this is a lot better. Can I see? How far can I see a tree in advance? Oh, that's not that good. Oh, crap. That's not that good. Oh, God. I need, fur per I need first person mode for the fucking truck. <laughs> so that way I could be like, okay, this makes sense. Or no, it doesn't. Third person mode's hard to tell because I just can't see. Well, that's a that's definitely a tree. I think I'm stuck on the tree. Yep, I'm definitely stuck on the tree. Oof. Okay. 
Can I get down? No. Nope. Even my four-wheel drive is not working. The back tire is stuck on it. Okay. Okay, back tire. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you free. No, I'm not. Maybe we need to make a tree. Maybe that's what we make. I don't know. I haven't done I haven't done foliage in a long time, so if I do a tree, you're gonna have to bear with me. Wow. Okay, what's that frames per second hit? What the what the it never is like that. What is going on? Hey, I'm not got anything there. Interesting. That is very interesting. I think it's because of where the where the clouds are at. What's my frames per second? Fifty. What the banana? Ew. Oh, it's because of the camera. It's got the dual camera, so you're rendering twice. Aha! There we go. That that is what it was. Okay, cool. Yeah, maybe we make a tree. What do you guys think? Tree? Yeah, tree is good. And we were get rid of these poly trees. Mm, okay, fine. Save scene, file, new scene. Bring my grid in. Let's create my box. Um, okay, so a player is 200 in the Z and then 100 in both of those, not 10, 100, there you go. So that's a player. Okay, so, um, well, hold on. Before we go tree, let's fix the grass. That's what we were going to do. Where the that store? Is it just colors? Oh, don't tell me it's just colors. Sean boy, did you really do that? I mean, maybe it's possible, I guess. It is just colors. You. Sandesky Mother Trucker. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> okay, well, well, that makes my life easy. So let's go to a new 512 by 512. Um, and so. Uh, so Where's my swatches? Swatches. Uh, so that's ZDG Rarity. Let's create a new one. And we're gonna call this uh, ZDG Landscape Colors. And we're going to create a new swatch called gra- uh, what? Nope, we're not going to do that. We're going to find the color first. Um, okay. So, we really need to think about how we want this to look because this is going to be all of our colors throughout the entire process. Um, and that matters. So, we want it to kind of match the theme that we we want the game to be. Um, and I think we're going to stick with, we're not going to go super bright and like, uh, in your face. 
but we are going to go with something that's kind of um, pastel, I will, if you will. And so I'm thinking a color like maybe, let's see, let's try this. What about this for grass, right? Um, and we can, so let's actually, is this a parameter? I think it's a parameter. Uh, let's let's actually do this inside Unreal. Cause I'm, uh, would you like to apply the changes? No, I don't wanna do that. Okay, so let's go inside of Unreal. Cause I'm pretty sure I made it here. Yeah. I did not parameterize it cause I'm an idiot. Who does that? Okay, I'm gonna promote this to a variable. Wait, I guess I am. Okay, I convert to a parameter and we're gonna call this grass color. And I'm gonna convert this to, we're gonna call this rock color. And we're gonna convert this to a parameter. I'm gonna call this uh, dirt color. And we're gonna promote this to a variable. We're gonna call this sand color. Okay, cool. Um, and then I'm gonna go into my landscape material. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna pull this to the side. You won't be able to see it, but that's okay because you don't need to see it. You just need to see it happen in the editor, which we're about ready to go do. Let's look at it from here, right? And then um, let's turn on all my color editing. So I want the grass to be kind of a pastel. Ah, oh, crap, it's not using that. It's not using, it should be using it. Why is it not using it? Uh, landscape, okay. Let's, let's see what the landscape's using, details. So we matte landscape zero one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Are all of the sub landscapes using matte zero one? Yeah, okay, they are. So I should see the edits happen live. Let's come here. I don't have the fog. I think the fog is what's messing me up. You know what? Let's go to the water zone one. I know that one's at least messed up. Uh, I don't need that one. We are going to make changes to that, so we'll save that. Yeah, okay, cool. So this one, I can see the changes a little bit better. Um, let's go at eight. And then let's open the matte landscape. Pull that out. Go here. Okay, so if I make the dirt red, you should see that change. Yeah, okay, cool. I mean, it should have been live. I don't know why it wasn't doing that live, but you know, whatever. Whatever, Kappa. What? That's, that's fucking weird. I should have updated. I don't know why it's not updating, but whatever. Um, okay, so let's go for something a little bit more pastel-y. Okay. Let's pull a little bit more out of it. Nope. Let's go a little bit darker. Uh, nope. That's way too green. Let's 
not a bad color. Uh, we need to pull... Ugh, that's not green enough. That looks like some kind of frost is on it. Mm, it's super light. Um, uh, that's a little bit better. Okay, so that's like a dark, dark green. Yeah, yeah. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of that. Um. Okay. So let's let's bring it up just a tad. Yeah, I like that color. Okay. So we're gonna grab this. Um, I'm gonna create a new theme, and we're gonna call this. Uh, landscape colors and so we're going to drag and drop this onto my landscape colors so i have that green um we're going to grab the hex color i'm going to bring that over into photoshop put that down here and see what color that gives me well there's an extra f that's the reason why or there's not. Oh, what the fuck. Uh, is it this color down here? I can't remember. I always forget. You're not seeing any of what I'm doing right now, and that's okay. Don't worry about it. That is definitely not the color. Yeah. Uh, okay. Fuck. Um, what's the color? Well, let's cheat it. Let's just go, we're just gonna cheat it. Holla. One B seven, one B six seven three two. What the? Where do you see that? Oh, that's right down there at the bottom. Ha ha. Okay. Well, now I feel stupid, don't I? Okay, so this is a color for our grass. So let's file, save as. Um, and so, hmm. That's a good point, because I could colorize it. I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. Because um, I could colorize the grass. We could do the grass white, and then we can color the grass via color. So like in here, um, with this texture, you see how I've got a color here defined? Uh, let's grab this and put it to this. Um, so I can take this and multiply that by a, a texture. And so what that would do is I would colorize my grass texture, if you will, um, and then bring that in. We might do that. I don't know yet. We might do that. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. This should be real time. Like, why is it? Uh -huh. the fuck? Does it gotta be like a different object? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, whatever. Um, hmm.
Yeah, so that looks good. I guess my question at this point is going to be, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. So what do we want the dirt to be a darker color? Cause I kind of like it where it's at. I'm gonna go darker and more gray, hit okay. Yeah, I like that. And then, um, we'll do this as a much darker save. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's, so that's bringing in the darker world look, less light and vibrant, um, which I like. So let's, let's do that. Um, let's bring this color into here. And then let's bring this color into here. Hit okay. From here, choose that dark color. Choose that color. We're gonna save. Funny. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, okay. So, I mean, I'm overall happy with this. We should create an entire layer for roughness, but whatever. Um, let's go to our foliage material. And then this is our grass. Let's change this to grass. I don't have a, a grass pad. Oh, whatever, okay. Yeah, real time. Um, okay, so that's the base. And we're gonna choose the top to be the same. Let's do a save. We're gonna do this for all the grass materials. Although I think all of them use the exact same thing. I think, not 100% positive. Pretty close, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty close. Okay, so if we go to the foliage, right? Um, So subsurface is important because of the hue. Let's see what that looks like. I just wanna fuck with it. Okay. That's way too bright. Um, let's use this and then let's just uh, increase the saturation. Uh, it's gonna give it a white color. Mm, I don't want that. Uh, let's give it a little bit of a hue shift. Yeah, just a, just a tad bit of a hue shift. Okay, save. I mean, it's nice, but it's kind of a little distracting. Um, we'll probably have to change the the mask out. That grass mask is a little probably too hardcore. Now we're getting deep into the weeds of shaders. This is not modeling. I apologize. You guys are like. You said you were gonna model. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so let's go here. 
Let's try that. Save. Yeah, okay, so that's that's subtle. Um and then let's boost up. Let's go to our meshes, foliage, let's go to our blade grass one. Let's put it back to 25. We had it at a lower thing for Mester because we were trying to make sure and see if it was optimized for his machine. Um, we are no longer optimizing for Mester's machine. We are going to test with my machine. It does affect the grass, though. We, we went from being fucking 120 to 100. So maybe instead of 25, we'll do 20? Or let's do 15. We'll play with that later. You know, we don't need it to be perfect. Okay, let's hit play. Yeah. So it's subtle enough. It looks good. Let's wait for nighttime. And the the reflections and a, a caustic lighting looks good. Am I out of coffee? I'm out of coffee. Ugh. It's a bad day. Wait for this sun to, to finish. Hi, sun. Man, that thing's bright. It's supposed to change that setting. I guess I'm going to have to re-pull it back over. Okay, let's see what it looks like closer to nighttime. Nice. Yep, that's what I wanted to see. Bam. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that looks good. Um, we'll have to fix that because I it should be an individual blade of grass. I kind of cheated it uh, before. Well, it needs to be an individual blade of grass, not a patch. Um, because uh, I thought that I could make it render better, but I cannot. Because it creates weird things whenever you get on edges and things like that, so. Um, okay. And then you get things like where you got a whole patch of square. And you're like, wait, why do I have a square there? Um, okay, so let's go back here. Um, I haven't figured out how I want this to look. Uh, let's... That is way too much. That is too. Uh, that's actually not bad. That wouldn't be bad either. Okay, let's uh, let's cheat it, just for the sake of this stream and not wasting all of our time. I just had it.
we're cheating this 100%. Okay, so textures, uh, we need a new folder called landscape. And we're gonna call this grass zero one diff. Okay. Um, so we go back over to Unreal. We go over to our matte landscape. Uh, texture, texture sample, remote to a parameter, and we're gonna call this grass diff. Uh, let's make some room. Okay, so put these two together. This multiplies by, uh, I hate that they added this new mole four Whatever the fuck it is. Um, okay, so that goes into our layer grass. Okay. Um, and if we change this to grass, bam. You'll see that, we save it. And that comes out super dark. And the reason why it comes out super dark is because this is super dark, right? So we need to do overlay. Yeah, let's do one more overlay. That's too much. Because we're losing detail. But we want it as close to white as we possibly can. And then we can do a mask for the flowers if we wanted to. We're not gonna get into that. We're not doing shader crap for this stream specifically. Um, so you're not gonna see that. Okay, so let me go file, export. Uh, you're not seeing what I'm doing right now because I'm just fixing it outside of the editor and then I'll, it'll come in. Uh, and I'm also gonna take my shirt off. Hold on one second. It is super hot in here for some reason. Well, probably because I'm doing a lot of work so it's heating up. Oh man, it's like super hot in here. And I had fleece on, so the fleece doesn't make it any uh, any less hot. I don't know if I should have put the glasses on first or after, whatever. Okay, back to where we were. Oh, a little bit colder, which is good. Might turn the heater off. It's 35 degrees outside. Maybe I open the window. But I mean, I'm like, I literally got sweat beads on my thing. I don't know why that, that weird. Okay, let's do a save. Now let's see what that looks like. Um, it's coming out almost perfect. So if we come here, and then we gotta go to this texture. Uh, oh crap. Where where is this layer blend coming from? Oh, okay. So we then need to do this to this. Yes. Yes. Okay, save. Okay. 
Now you can see that it has this nice grass texture. Um, again, I'm kind of cheating it, so you can definitely see <laughs> the pixel offset. Um, so let's hit play. So again, I'm, I, I just wanted to show you, this is how you could do a texture and then you can colorize it from there. Um, obviously we need this texture to be a lot better. I think I can, I think it's handled in my scale. Is that handle in the scale? Grass bias, sharp stone difference, no. Uh, macro scale. Uh, there's a way to do this scale of the texture and I haven't added it into here. It's via texture coordinates. It's like through here. And then you do a scale, I think. So it's kind of like this. Um, I think. Let me look. So this would be... Uh, this is going to be called grass... Or actually, no, I'll just apply this into everything. Uh, well, for right now, I'm just going to do grass. So this is going to be grass diff scale. And we'll do a default of 512. Uh, 10 billion, whatever. Put this into the UVs. I don't really know what I did, if that works or not. Does it supposed to, if it does what this is supposed to do, it's supposed to multiply it, right? Save it? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Let's try it out. Uh, okay, so I definitely broke something. That's okay. Um, let's see if it actually does anything. No, probably not. Oh, okay. So what about two? Does that make it smaller? Oh, it does. Three. Heck yeah. Look at that. Look at how nice that looks. Nice. So that's a multiplier. I didn't know it was a multiplier. That's why it wasn't showing up at 512 because fucking 512 is ridiculously high. Uh, okay, so then let's play now and see how close that looks to what we want it to be. Mm, definitely not. I mean, it's kind of there, but that's still too big. So let's go to our... Let's do five. Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, that's more like it. Um, anyway, so what, I, what I'm trying to show off and what I want you to see is that you can make these things um, kind of really robust in how you want it to work. Uh, and ideally, what we should probably do is we should probably come in here um, uh, on Photoshop and I should kind of make this opacity even more so we just get the outline maybe not do an opacity mask but like a a linear mask or something like a screen so it's kind of like softens it and you just get just a little bit of it like i think this would probably end in a better result um so like if we did five uh Let's see what this looks like. So you can barely even notice it on this one, which is kind of what we want. It doesn't need to be super noticeable. It's just kind of there to kind of break up the eyes a little bit.
and that's kind of nice. And that big map up there is a, uh, it's kind of like what's called, what is it? What is that called again? Um, dang it, I can't remember the name of what it's called. Anyways, the big map that where you see the big spots over there, that's kind of a uh, variation map. And so I just created a little spot texture, I think. Um, let me see if I can remember how I did that. It's been forever since I made this landscape material, like, and I mean forever. Okay, so macro var one, is this var two, var one? Okay, they're all using macro var one. And it just looks like that. Okay, so let's do a file new. Let's do 1024 by 1024. Um, and then we're gonna go filter, uh, render, clouds. Okay, and then we're gonna change this to color. And then we're gonna go filter, other, and we're gonna do offset. 512 by 512, just to make sure that it all lines up. It does, so that's good. We don't need to worry about it. Um, they are seamless, which is good. And then um, we can file export as, sorry, I didn't know I was not in Photoshop. Again, being silly. Um, so textures engine, fuck, oh, where did I save that texture, damn it. Uh, where is this? Where is this at? Where is this at? Where is this at? Uh... Now that you're in the engine there, editor, could you check in the level Mr. Cog uh, AI? Yeah, 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 hundred percent. What are you doing in the AI level? Yeah, I'm not doing anything, but I'm doing a fix up the directors and I can't check it out. Oh, okay. Give me 3.2 seconds and I will do that for you. I, I just need to asset actions. I need to export this as a texture to not world creator. Where the fuck am I at right now? I'm in textures engine. Okay. So Zumber content. Textures, engine, macro variations, save, okay. And then I need to save a bunch of these other ones out there too. Uh, check it out, cool. Let me just save this one little quick texture and then um, I will 100% do that for you, okay. So textures, engine, and then macro variation, hit okay. save. Export, I'm gonna come on top of that bad boy. Heck yeah. Uh, and let's save it and let's see what it looks like. Oh my Lord. That is, ugh, ugh. Okay, that's bad. That was really bad. I made everything black. Ugh, okay. Um. So let's do this real quick. We're almost there, almost there. Sorry, work with me, work with me. Okay, we're gonna save this as an overlay. Pull this down just a little bit. Nope, that's too much. Uh, duplicate. And then we'll make this a screen. Pull that down, pull this down. Pull that up and then can Control E and then filter, add noise, bam. File, export, export as, let's save it as this and see what this looks like to my land. Fix my land, there we go, cool. Okay, so now we have the macro variation that we wanted. It's still not perfect, but you can see how it's kind of like added variation to it. So even if, even though I don't have a texture as I'm far away, I still have a texture. And that's what this macro variation does. It's like a cheating way. 
So that way your terrain always looks different and not repeated. Um, so, okay, cool. Let me file, save all. I'm gonna do a big push. Landscape grass maps need to be rebuilt. Uh, I'll rebuild all that later. Uh, I'm gonna submit my content so Mester can get it. Oh no, that means I'm gonna have to check out all my fucking files again. Oh my God. F you. No, I don't have to check in the source files. It's gonna check in all the actual core files, just not the source files. Yeah, 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 okay, cool. Aha. Aha, ha, 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 ha. Mm -hmm. Uh, files are pushed for you. Thank you. And while you do that, I'm going to uh, create a Photoshop layer so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, we'll do a curves layer. Um, basically, I'm gonna bring all of this up and all of this down. Oh crap. Okay, so let's get this in here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. Okay, um, okay. so that curves layer is good. This is kind of showing you what my variations are. Um, let's create a new layer again. This is going to be white. We'll do screen. And then we're just going to reduce it slightly. Okay. And now we're going to do file, export, export as, and save that as my macro. It's going to ask for me to edit that. And check that out. I'm going to say yes, because you don't need the macro. And now, again, notice how I got this weird thingy. Everything looks good. Except for now it's too, like, it's too much. Um, I also think my texture here might not be enough. So let's go to one. Let's uh, do one. One. And one. And let's see what that does. <laughs> yeah. See, so that that creates that big nastiness. We don't we don't want that, right? Um, so we're going to undo all of that. No, oh! what? What the, what the banana? No, I ruined it. How did I ruin it? What did I do? Son of a beesh. Okay, so go to materials. Landscape. No, oh, well, I just checked it in. Thank God. Hopefully this doesn't crash my editor. Probably is going to crash my editor. Oh, it didn't. Wow. Look at that. It's fucking new. Um, did it work? Fixing up redirections? Uh, yes. I, I think so, but uh, yeah, not so sure, actually. 
didn't do anything with it after. Yeah. Well, you might want to push it. Somewhere. I'll probably I get the problem when I try to delete a variable in my gear component and it just crashes. Oh, that sucks. The editor. Uh, so I try to clean up some shit. But... Yo, homeboy has some fucking sick ass grass textures. I'm gonna have to fucking like replicate that. That's a sick ass grass texture. Uh, am I still on Photoshop? I am. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if I was on Photoshop or not. Irvine Castro. He has some nice stuff. Hmm. Ugh. His dirt stylized? Wow. Yeah, I gotta learn Substance. I'm gonna have to learn it because some of the, the stuff that Substance does is so cool. Like the fur? Ugh. That's a rock one? Oh, man. That is, that is sexy. That is sexy. What is that, coins? I mean, I guess that works. Like if you had to, if you had to put it in a chest or something. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, back to where we were. Um, uh, can you do me a favor and try to do a push? Once you, yeah. I just wanna see, like you don't have to actually go through with it. You can cancel it. I just wanna see if it's gonna push anything. No, do it in the editor, man. Why do you always do it external? Oh. Need, need, need me to do it in the editor. I, I would prefer that you don't like actually push anything. So that's um, that's why I'm saying like if you do it in editor, you can cancel out and then it'll show you what it's going to push. I could do it there too. Yeah. Mm. The same, you got a little button on the right hand side. You click it and then you hit push. Source control. It's a green one. Yeah. Click it. And then submit files. And then it'll determine all the files that you need to submit. And then you can choose. So do you see any of the files that you edited? Do you see like a delete or a modification or anything with the files that you were looking for? That you were having problems with? Uh, yeah, for sure. But the... Uh, where is it? That one. Yeah, so that's deleted, so that's good, and this is... Yeah, so do me a favor then, actually push it. Say whatever, yeah, do whatever it is you're gonna do, and then actually push it. Ooh. What we just had, what do we just have happen? Rare, thanks for the follow. Greatly appreciate that. Thanks for being here. How's it going? Glad to see your first time chatting. Um, so, we were working on this, uh, probably I'm going to reduce this curve, or, well, yeah, I'm gonna reduce this curve. That curve is harsh as shit. Yeah. Okay, so we want some deep. And then you can go back to doing whatever the fuck it was you were doing. Okay, file. I get some errors starting up if that can happen. You got errors now? No. Oh. Or maybe there would be some warnings or shit, you know, that could help me. Oh, I got some warning. Is that the peak of gear new? Probably not. Ah. Ooh, love that deep rumble follow. Thanks, yeah, I like it. That's a custom one too. Here, look, I'll replay it real quick. What I like about it is, is 
um, how it looks. I, I made that custom. Because I learned how to do it. Ha 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 ha. I still need to make my stingers, though. Okay, that is way too dark, as you can see. Uh, no, as you cannot see. Because I did, wasn't displaying that. So let's go ahead and display that. Um, let's put opacity up to 75. Or actually, let's do... Uh, let's turn it... Let's actually not play with screen. Let's play with overlay. Um, and put it at 100. What is that? Is my... Okay, I thought something was on my screen. Nothing's on my screen. Uh, that's good. Uh, okay, so let's do uh, reduce overlay down. I mean, maybe something is on my screen. What the hell? No. Let's do 75. Uh, file, export, export as. Let's save this and see what this does, if it does anything at all. Uh, I mean, kind of, yeah. There's kind of a variation. Yeah, you can see it. It's just enough. Good. Okay, that's what I was aiming for. Just, just enough to where you get a little bit of variance, right? And if we back out, it's not too bad. Ah, look at that view. Volumetric clouds is where it's at, boys and girls. Me, personally, would never uh, make stylized graphics myself because I can't take it seriously. Yeah, I mean, I love stylized graphics. Absolutely love it. It is me favorite. It is my favorite, boys. Har, shiver me timbers and buckle me numbers. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, uh, well, I was trying to... I guess I'm just gonna fly in. Uh, -dum -dum -dum. Yeah, I prefer the stylized graphics. Okay, so we have this, and you can see it's kinda uh, not very nice. So I'm gonna reduce this down to 55. File, export, export, and let's see if this creates a better effect for me. Yeah, okay, that's a little bit better. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, I like that, okay, cool. Um, so let's play real quick and then I can see what the grass looks like while I'm standing over it. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I like that. Nice soft tone. That's a good. That's a good matchup. Um, okay, that that matches kind of with what I wanted it to look like. So we need dirt next. Um, we'll kind of cheat that in again too, because I'm gonna make my own textures. But as of right now, for what we're doing. It'll work. So let's uh, go back to Photoshop and then let's cheat in our dirt texture. Uh, that was our variance texture. We'll leave that alone. Um, again, this is not my texture at all. I'm just uh, borrowing for the sake of testing something out right now. Let's do stylized dirt texture um, we need something non like we don't want it to be super powerful because uh, then it's just gonna overplay it all right and we don't want something um, kind of pointless <coughs> so we need to find a nice go-between
I still think stylized is the the kind of the the medium to to use because it's the only artistic one. Everything else is just it's just uh, you know, um, Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, if I can do half of what Breath of the Wild did, then I'll be happy. I appreciate the kind words. Um, but no, what I was saying is, is uh, I'm trying to look for, let's do stylized uh, dirt texture. Let's see if there's anything in here. Ugh, those are too noisy. I That's why I, I can't handle realistic because you can just basically go and download a substance file and, or go buy one and you're good to go. So I, I think, um, you know, that's probably the last last real area for you to kind of shine and show yourself being different. Um, but I mean, substance is so nice too. So if you can do, you can do a nice texture, you know. We'll see. I have a lot to get done on the texture slash material side of the house before our game is where it needs to be. I haven't even touched that avenue. I've been doing top level like surface stuff um, specifically and associated with just, uh... oh, since 2004. Wow, that's a long time. Well, wow, where's the doggo at? Uh, hopefully he's not getting into trouble. Um, that's a long time. Holy crap. Okay. Um, what? I just need a texture and I'll, I'll make it beautiful later. Um, hmm. That kind of works. Red panda corner, dirt texture, hand painted textures, game textures. It's 512 by 512 already. So let's open in a new tab and see if it just works. I bet you it doesn't, but we will see. Uh, filter, offset, offset. Oh, crap. Filter, other, offset. This needs to be 256 by plus 256. It does repeat. Heck yeah, cool. Um, okay, so this is, again, we need to turn this white. Uh, and then colorize. And then we need to overlay and then we need to overlay one more time because we're really just looking for those details under the, the dirt uh that's what we're really looking for um we'll do another duplicate and then we're going to turn this into a screen so that way i can kind of just soften it just a tad oh, right there um and then we're going to duplicate uh we're going to actually compress all of this, duplicate that, and then we're gonna multiply. So it brings the black, just the blacks out. I'll keep all of the white there and just bring the blacks in. Um, filter, export, export as, and we're gonna save this as our dirt. Uh, so this is textures, landscape, uh, and this will be dirt. Okay. And then back to UE5. Go to our uh, landscape base. So again, we did this for um, here. We need to do it for our dirt next. So we need to kind of get ourselves into the pretty little dirt world. Um, we're gonna grab this and we're gonna paste that down here. I'm gonna call this uh, dirt diff. And then we're gonna grab this because I do want this to go to all of them. And we're gonna put this in the UV. And then we're gonna bring this and we're gonna multiply. I hate that new node. Just you have to do MUL. Now I gotta do all this, okay. So dirt is coming into here. 
And then dirt is also going into my dirt layer. So I need to do both. Bam. This is like a spaghetti mess and a half. Okay, so this is using my grass diff. Uh, and this is going to use my dirt diff. Dirt. I'm going to hit save. Now see how see how much that is? That's way too much. Like way way too much. It looks good, but it's just way too much. Um that's not what we want at all. We want it just barely there. Let's see. He says, uh, I start a project, work for one to two days, and then I stop and come back weeks later and don't feel the project and start over. One day we have we'll have a world where AI generated ground textures will become a thing. Dude, you could probably already do that. Like legitimately, I'm sure if I go use one of those stupid AI bots, I could go create my ground textures. Like I could literally type in the word hand painted and go do it. And it would do it for me. So disgusting. Ugh. AI is gonna take over everything. I'm not I'm not like you're not even gonna have a job. It's gonna be Hey, I I'm alive. I don't need computers. Um, okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's reduce this. Yeah, I'm going to reduce this even more. So let's try, let's try this and see what this does. Mm, that's a little bit better. And then we'll have to do a height map as well. So that way it blends in properly. Yeah, I, I understand it. So we kind of bounce around from project to project too. Yeah, that's just too strong. It's not bad, it's just too strong. I don't want it to be that strong. Um, so I need to, let's do a curves layer. Well, let's bring this down. And up. Kind of walk it. Yeah. Okay, let's let's try that out. Mm. Nice, that's what I want right there. So just subtle. Uh, well, I don't mean obviously you don't want to be in the water. Just subtle enough, right? So that way, if I'm looking at it or viewing it. Because we're gonna have actual rocks that are spawning on there. Um, we don't want it. We want it just subtle enough. Yep, that's good. That's real good. There's my grass. Yep, that looking good. That's what we want right there. And then, um, yeah, see how nice that is? And so let's go up here and kind of just see what it looks like on the terrain. Oh, this pitted terrain is so bad. I need to, I need to learn how to fix that. <laughs> um, and then that rocky... We don't have a rock texture yet, so we'll probably play with that so I can get a rock texture. But other than that, it looks good. Um, okay. I'm gonna check out this current level because I don't think Mester's doing anything at this level. Um, hit save. Uh, 
Um, and then I'm gonna do a pull. So I can pull all of the stuff that he pushed. Okay. Damn, he got rid of 21 files. Mester said purge. So, what do you, do you just do, um, Rara, do you just do, uh, game dev for a hobby? Open um, landscape world. Nice. Looks good. Yeah, it looks real good. And so then we need to add the sand texture in, which we'll get to. I think we'll do that last. Um, but the rock is fine the way it is. So that's that that um, difference texture. And so this difference texture creates that nice setup. I think we were gonna make a tree. I think that's what we're gonna do. Now that we got colors kind of sorted the way we want it, um, we were gonna make a tree. I think that's what we were doing, right? We said we were gonna make a tree, but let me uh, just run through this real quick. Um, it, what does it want? It builds grass maps. Is that even a thing? Like, do I do? I click build it. Did it build it? it? Built it. Okay, grass maps have been built. That didn't take long. That's good. Uh, file, save current level. Yeah, check it out. And uh, if you're new and you haven't already tracked, you guys can go to our Discord. And uh, on our Discord, you'll get notifications whenever I live stream. My schedule is kind of here or there sometimes. It all depends. Um, but trying to be more regular. What? Continue. Why does it, it does that weird crap where it like can't access an asset or whatever. So you have to like force it. Maybe that's a problem with the source control. And I will also upload all of my stuff to YouTube. Yeah, so too bad Git doesn't work with this. Um, it's not it's not uh, designed to work with these large files or binary files that you can't like parse the differences between. Why can't I save those two? Oh, now I can. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Um, can I pick up a gun anymore? I don't know. Nope. Uh, nope, that does not work. Okay. Well, there's our beautiful chair. There's the server that we made. There's the beautiful zombies doing whatever zombies do. And over there, they're like eating on the dead corpse. And there's supposed to be a guy that spawns. Yeah, and then runs. And they're supposed to attack him and try to kill him. Which they're they're doing. Pretty good job of. They killed each other or smacked each other? I don't really know how that works. And these guys are running to the door. Uh, bam. Bam. They made it. 
Those zombies are alive back there somehow, but not well. Oh, man. Crazy. And this shows the zombies falling, different AI test stuff, just having fun, you know? Um, okay, cool. What source controller are you using? We're using Perforce. I, I like Perforce, it's not bad. You gotta get used to it, but, you know. I need to change music. We've been listening to Insomnia for far too long. Let's listen to Rose. Okay. All right, looks good, sounds good. Uh, I'm gonna go check on the dog real quick, make sure he's okay, and then I'm gonna go to the bathroom.
Okay, I'm back. Had to let him outside. Make sure he was good to go. Okay, um, where were we? Oh, we're making a tree. Oof, that went real fast, didn't it? Uh, okay, we're gonna make a tree. I think that's what we're gonna make. Uh, let me go to open level landscape war zone. Like I said, war zone, just like you did, Master, even though he's not listening. But basically, I said war zone. <laughs> like he did the other day. Because it says water zone. <laughs> Uh, anyways, where I was going with this is it looks nice, looks good. We need a tree, right? What the hell is he doing back there? <laughs> he, he has his toy. He's like looked at me with his toy and his little tail shaking like, uh, toy? I'm like, bro, it's, it's 11 o'clock at night. What do you mean toy? What are you trying to do? You should be sleeping. He's like, Dad, you're not sleeping. Why should I be sleeping? Dear. Crazy. Um, okay. So we said we're going to make a tree. Let's go make a tree. This sound... Uh, I can't. No, I can't listen to this. This sounds like a... Uh... What's that soundtrack of the guy who was uh, Silence of the Lambs? I can listen to this. Okay, this is okay. This is good chill music. Let's see how far we get with this tree. Trees are... Brr. So I essentially, I could. Hmm. Let's try it. Fuck it. Uh, 3D coat. Uh, well, that doesn't work because I don't have 3D coat open. Let me open 3D coat. now that I opened it um, let's do
How do I increase the fidelity? They changed this whole program up. Holy crap. Holy crap. This whole thing is different. There's like 90 different tools. Okay, base clay. What does that even do? Okay, well, something. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I thought I knew what I was doing. I used to be able to do this. Uh, what's Vox build up? Nope. Uh, that's not what I want to do. Extruder? Nope. That is not how. Good. Nope. Okay, uh, it's not what it looks like. Don't judge me. This looks really bad right now, I know. <laughs> ah! doing where's the move tool like oh they had all these okay i was like where is this move tool used to be a thing you could like move it and add and everything else like it was a thing bro I don't even know what I'm doing. Whoa, 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 what the heck? I kind of like this, okay. Okay, I can work with this. Don't don't judge me right now, okay? This is a fucking fucked up tree. Oh god, this is a fucked up tree.
kind of getting the hang of this ish. I don't know if I could have made the tree faster if I just hand modeled it, maybe. I probably should have hand modeled it and made myself a base to go from. And then did this. I think that would have been faster. Because right now I've got to build all the structure. And there's a lot of fucked up structure. So like it's so I love scrape. This is what you make rocks with. And so instead of making a tree, I made a rock. <laughs> like, yeah, well, uh, there goes the tree idea. We're just making rocks. You'd be like, what? Like, don't ask questions you don't want answers to. We're making rocks. Making rocks today, boys and girls. This, is, this makes such good rocks, though. Oh, my God, look at that. That's a cool rock. <laughs> Too bad I'm not making a rock. <sighs> Shit. Right? So... Okay, I should probably make a base shape externally because then I can have my tree shape the way I want it to and then bring that in. Because right now I'm just wasting time. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with that. Um, right? It looks like a, a badass stalactite rock. <laughs> That's because I use scrape. If I so, there's other tools that you can do to make it more like. I, again, I'm learning. I, I don't ever do this at all. Um, you know, I don't ever do this. I think maybe a smooth on it would probably maybe do something. I don't know. What does Phil even do? I don't even know what what does Phil do? I don't know what Phil does. Oh, what the heck did I just do? I thought carve. Uh, that added random blobs. Sphere. Uh, what the what the? I don't even know what half these things do. So scrape is supposed. That's how you make rock. I know that. I don't know what smudge does. Oh, wow! Smudge is how you... Oh, ooh, that's cool! Okay. We've now we've now created this stream to be a, what's cool and fun to uh, play with <laughs> in modeling. Ugh. So this, this could be kind of tree-ish, right? If I follow... Oh, what the heck happened there? Smooth yourself back in there, good sir. All right, I can see this being kind of tree now. All right? 
Um, like the wood is all knotted on itself. Um, Bro, I'm making so many rocks this way. <laughs> it kind of looks tree-ish. Kinda. Where's my pinch? Yeah. Bring that in. There's gotta be a better texture. Do I got textures? Mm. Smart materials. Oh no. Brush options. Color channel. No. Color swatches. No. <gasps> Sculpt models. Sculpt tree. There's an option for sculpt tree. Oh wait, no. It's not an actual tree. It's just the. Tr oh man. That's. It is very misleading. It's not an actual sculpt tree. It's the hierarchy of the tree. I was all like, man, there's a whole panel for it. No! Look, see, it looks very woody. <laughs> and I did. Uh, I go back to sculpting. Where's sculpting? There we go. Ugh. I don't I don't even know what to do like So technically I should be able to like Ugh. So I get what that is, right? Um, voxel clay is good. Because that's actually how I add, um, you know, stuff to this. And so that's kind of what I would do here on the base if I wanted to add more structure. And then you just smooth it out. Uh. That smoothing is not going very well, though. Maybe I have to scrape. Usual clay. What does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. Box flatten? Ooh. What did I just do? Oh, my God. I, I, I hacked away my, my... Oh, my God. I clearly suck at this. Clearly. Okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna not do it in here. We're going back over to Maya. Back over to Maya. I gotta make a I could have made like four trees already. Okay. 
Um, so let's kind of just look real quick on references, um, just so I kind of get an idea. How tall is a common tree to a human? Uh, tallest living individuals. That's not what I want to know. Um, how tall is a normal tree? That's a good idea. So anywhere from 15 to 24 meters, right? So 15 to 24 meters, and I don't remember my current scale. I think this is in 100 centimeters, so that's 10. That's 200. No, there's no way. Oh, what the fuck? Let's do the math. Uh, meters to feet. 49 feet. Jesus, that's huge. That is massive. 49 feet. Okay. Um, it's pretty big. It's pretty big right there. So uh, our player is six feet. Okay. So if we did this, that'd be 200 by 200 by 200. Our player is six feet. All right. Uh, and so... Six times by two, or wait, no, damn it. Uh, we need four. How many feet was that? Oh my, my brain, oh my brain, the math hurts. 49. So, 49 feet, let's do 49 divided by six equals eight. So, that's eight times by two equals 16. So, 1600. Oh, it's huge. It's massive. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, and let's do 50 on this. What? That makes no sense. That does not make any sense. X and Y should be 50 on both. 50 and 50. Why is that? What? Oh, cause, mm, yeah, okay. 50, 1,650. Okay, that is the height of our tree. That is, that's a tall ass tree. Um, we're gonna do modify freeze transformation so I can scale this down to half. And then that'll be manageable. Yeah. Okay. That's so tall. 49 fucking feet for a, a common tree size? Ugh. It's disgusting. That tree is tall. Look, look at how tall that is. What are you even gonna do with something that tall? I, I'll tell you what you're gonna do. You're gonna make a tree out of it. Okay, so we want our tree to go in the ground just slightly. And um, I honestly think that's fucking too tall, but you know, who am I? Let's let's bring it down to here. Just just for the sake of creating something manageable. Uh, okay, so let's 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 go file export selection. Um, we're gonna go into our workspace. Mesh foliage, and we're gonna go tree 001 because we're gonna have a bunch of different types of trees. Let's see how tall this is. Okay, never mind, that's not that tall. I don't know why I thought it was that tall. That's like super not tall. Yeah, like hit the player, right? Well, I mean, it's kind of up there. But it's not that tall. Like, I mean, it's tall, but it's not that tall. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. So if we times that by two, um, cause that's a half the scale, uh, two by two by two. Now let's see what that looks like. Um, is that kind of on par with that big one right there? Yeah, it's kind of on par. Okay. So I'm, I'm okay with that. We're, so we'll go half the scale so that way it's easier to manage. Um, is that supposed to be a sequoia tree? No. Uh, so what did, what did it say? It said the, um, well, the Pinus strobus, commonly called the Eastern white pine, it is soft pine that's a large pine native to eastern north america and its eastern pine is 15 to 24 meters which is 49 to 50 feet and so uh what type of human beings are comparable to tall tree i don't even know what that what what kind of question is that man where's this chat gpt where's this chat Fucking GPT. I need to ask this thing. Chat GPT. Let's ask it a question. Jasper chat. No, I don't want Jasper. I want chat GPT. Okay, let's try it. What? I have to log in? Oh, God. Chat, chat GPT is about ready to create me a tree. I want to create. What is Chat GPT create the most ideal tree? I gotta put a phone number in here. Oh my lord! Nope. Not playing Chat GPT. I ain't giving him my phone number. Then the then the AI will do weird things with my phone number. Let's just make a tree. Anyways, so um. Uh, let's go. Ooh, what do we get? Prestige, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, okay, so let's go even smaller for the sake of, again, let's go 0.25, so one fourth. So it's easier to manage. Uh, remember, we're at one fourth. I'm gonna write this down. So that way I gotta times it by four, we're at one fourth, okay. <laughs> Not much, just working on some trees. We're making trees today. Well, we've done a couple of different things. We're, what are we at, almost four hours in? Yeah, it had to, it wanted my phone number. Chat GPT wanted my phone number, homie. I was like, no, you ain't getting my phone number. What are you trying to do with my phone number, you bot? Okay. Um, so let's make the base pretty big. I don't have any references. I need references for a tree. I mean, I kind of have an idea. What kind of tree are we making? That's the that's the question, right? So a pine tree looks very e like it's very basic. <laughs> I guess that's the question. What kind of tree do we want? The pinus Jeffrey. Those are basic and common to the a region i don't even know uh it will try to sell the, you quantum extended warranty down the <laughs> what's up bash or bast uh, chat tpd is incredibly impressive if you haven't tried it uh i have i have not tried it i have avoided all of those things associated with it and yes i am sure it is impressive however anything that is ai created scares the bejeebles out of me and means that i'm not going to have a job in the future so i'm not going to try to help it 
In fact, down with the AI. That's my whole game is about AI taking over the world. Okay, uh, maybe an oak tree. Maybe oak tree would be cool to make. I don't know. Mm. Or a cedar tree, maybe? I don't know. Oak tree looks like it would be crazy to make. The AI heard me. It, it, the chat GPT AI was like, oh, he does not like me. We must kill him. No! Don't kill me! Um, okay, uh, what does a cedar tree look like? Hmm, no, I don't want to do a cedar tree. Uh, let's just type in tree. Different tree types. Hmm. Locust tree, birch trees. I actually prefer birch trees. I absolutely love. It's called popular trees. What the? Fuck? Ooh, dogwood. What is a poplar tree look like? What the hell? Those are poplars. Those look like birch trees. Birch tree. Birch trees are pretty. I love birch. Um, it helped me debug a problem in our project, but it also very confidently wrong a lot. So you should kind of know the answers to the questions you're asking on my own, or you might get misinformed quick. Well, it's got to learn, right? And that's that's what that's what you're doing if you help if you help it. You're helping it learn. I'm not I'm not here to help it. I ain't going to help it. San Gresti Desti. I don't know what kind of tree I want to make. You guys got to help me. What kind of tree should I make? Black pine tree. Let's see what that looks like. That is, that does not look like that. That's a Japanese black pine. It's basically a bonsai tree. Uh, pine tree. So there's sugar pine, eastern white pine, longleaf pine. La lob lolly pine. What the fuck is that? I like the p Pinus Jeffery tree. Pinus Jeffry tree. I have a fuck ton of branches. You are not only one that is scared of Chappy Chat. There is a red flags all over the place at GGL upper management level. Funny that it originates from GGL engineers in the first place. Oh yeah, I'm telling you. I I agree with you wholeheartedly. There should be red flags like all over the place. They're gonna get rid of humans. Like when you start doing shit like that, you're just uh, yes, it's awesome. So awesome that it actually works. Nope, I'm done. When you can do all the same things that a human can do with a computer, I'm done. Especially, they have a 3D modeler one now. Like, 
Oh, crap. I'm gonna have no job. Man, this whole, this whole soundtrack is the exact same. We're going, we're gonna go liven this up. We're gonna wake us up. I've been sitting here chilling. Time to wake up. Okay, I think I have a tree that I like. It's called a Pinus Jeffery tree. Yeah, I mean, so you you don't, you make a good point, right? Innovation is important, but there's a difference between innovating at a rate that you can control and innovation for the sake of innovating. And I think that's important for people to understand. Um, innovation is great, but the key is, is you need to be able to control it or it's going to get out of hand. And once it's out of hand, there's no putting the lid on that. Like there's no, there, like you just can't do it. And then you're fucked. And you have Battlestar Galactica. Which is exactly what my game is. Which is why it's funny. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, so you got to think about it, right? It's not it's not just because of artists. Um, well, I mean, I guess I would say as an artist, I'll explain it from an artist's point of view. Um, one of the things that is drastically makes humans humans is um, our ability to create, right? Uh, my dog is amazing. I love my dog, but my dog can't create. It doesn't have the ability to create. And so... Um, when you start to give a being or an entity the ability to create, uh, which is, that's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you do it for AI and AI can do it so fast and so easily, um, now what you've done is, is you've taken out the ability for me to create as a, as a creator and I don't have that ability anymore. Um, now I think that there will be as with all things, let me just be clear, as with all things, um, I think over time, artists will adapt and learn how to use and work with the AI to create better and more amazing and more, more like greater things. But initially the idea is, is that basically you're competing with something that uh, far superior than most uh, capabilities. Like I, again, I can go to chat GPT or not chat GPT, I can't remember what the the AI avatar one is, but I can type in like 50 things and in five minutes I have 20 different versions of, of myself in um, artistic form and it, and it costs whatever the sub fee was, which is $25, where if I was to go commission that work, uh, that commissioned work would be far more expensive. So it's kind of like it's encroaching on your space, right? And you're like, oh no. Um, well, that we're that's correct, but we're not there yet. Um, and we're, we're getting, so it's like, for example, if you've looked at the Dota trials, um, <coughs> it took one week for, the, for them to, I, I, I think it was one week for them to train Dota uh, AI from ground up, never playing, all the way to beating the world's best Dota 2 players. And it literally beats them hands down every single time. And it took a week for them to learn that. And and then it started creating its own strats based off of combined strats. And and so that's just how human nature is. Like I'm, nothing I create is, is based off of my own thing, right? What's up, Grivnado? It's been a while. Um, yeah, it has been a long, long time. And so 
like an artist doesn't create from nothing. An artist creates from what it's seen and an artist creates from from what it's experienced. In fact, the more an artist experiences, the better their creations can become because they have more to draw from. And so uh, that's that's the fun part of art or that's what makes art beautiful is, is you're taking an adaptation of real life and modifying it in some way or mixing it or pushing it. And that that's what art is. Um, and so when you teach a computer to do that, it's kind of scary initially. Like I said, I think we'll adapt and change. Um, but the big scare, the big scare for people is, is that it's going to take over jobs, right? If I, if you don't need a 3d artist and you can go make all your 3d models as a coder, then get out of here. Right. And that's, if I go pay $25, um, if I go pay $25 a month for something to make my models for me, and then I'm like, okay, go make my models. And I type in whatever the models are and it makes those models. Okay, well now I just saved half the work and all those people who make models are not out of job. Um, now, again, now you have the advanced parts of that. Okay, well now you need rigging and now you need waiting and you need all these things like that. Um, and I'll be honest, if you, if I could hire an AI to do the waiting and rigging, shit, I'd pay money. I'd, I'd, whew, I'd pay money and be like, hey, I don't got to rig and wait this. Hell yeah. So I see it, right? Because that's not what I do. I mean, I do it, but it's something I hate doing. So it's like, okay, cool. Um, so. Uh, well, so, uh, Bast, it's, it's a short step. Like I said, you have to think about it in the evolution of human. It's a short step between drawing things on a wall with paint that I have, right? I'm drawing things on a wall with the paintbrush that I have to creating uh, the Sistine Chapel. It's a very short step. Like it's not far, right? I'm taking and mimicking something that I saw in real life and, and making a stick figure. And now just, just a little tiny hop over, I'm creating Sistine Chapel. Um, I also do agree with you that, again, we'll adapt over time. Yeah, I'm worried about it. If there was an AI for waiting and rigging, <laughs> I know, Griffnado, trust me. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, AI, get this done. That way I don't have to do this bullshit. Rigging and waiting. No, 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 no. So... Okay, well now now that our chat is over, let's get back to GPTing. I don't even know what that means, but I'm fucking saying it, so deal with it. Okay, uh, we're we're making a Douglas pine fir tree of the pineness, right? I so I'm not gonna lie to you. I could if I if if I could literally make an entire group of AI people who could code. This game would be done other than art. But then Mester would be out of job and he'd kill me. Well, he wouldn't kill me, but I wouldn't I wouldn't have all the fun that I have with Mester, you know? Uh and also if you guys haven't already, go ahead and throw your Discord. Join up on the YouTube. I'm gonna actually be uploading all my streams to the YouTube channel now. I created a playlist for it. Um this is episode nine, technically. So Anyways, um, okay, so let's get back to our program and let's model. Uh, so, oh crap, I forgot, I need to be an X forward. I do like that conversation, it's fun. So I'm not trying to discourage such conversation. I'm just, I'm trying to focus, you know? We need we it's been a while since I've been streaming and I need to I need to get some work done so that way I can encourage my coders aka Mester to do some good work. Okay, so it grew, it moved, and it moved. Okay, 
So this is kind of our tree shape. Uh, it's a little weak in that area right up there, but that's okay. Uh, again, we're we're not perfect right now. I'm just kind of playing. Let's play. Hopefully everybody's Christmas was good. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, that's good. That's very tree-like. Um, good question. Let's show you. We'll go over there. Um, so we're kind of, I mean, you know my art style. I have the same art style I've always had. Um... But we are going to go with, it's kind of like a, a mix between hand painted. Um, I, I originally wanted to do something, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, like Overwatch, but I don't want to go that detailed as Overwatch. Uh, I think that's way too much. Um, I want something a little bit easier. So we're kind of going like mid range, low poly. Uh, I, you know me, I like the soft, smooth edges, so I'm not doing low poly voxel like this. These are just, uh, stand-in assets that we have for now. Um, but if I was to show you the, where's Mester? Well, let's go test AI. Yeah. So this is kind of like the assets you'll see. This is a good, this is a good, we made this earlier today. Um, so this is a good feel or aesthetic for it. We're, we're basically going to have some beveled edges. We're still keeping it as low poly as possible. So this is actually pretty low poly. Um, same with this. And, you know, keeping all of it low poly as much as possible. Uh, yeah, so we're going to stay away from PBR um, because I don't want to do normal maps. Um, and with new Nanite technology and 5.1, there's no need for normal maps, honestly. So we're going to, we're not doing any normal maps at all, whatsoever. Um, if I, if, if it has a bump in it, it's gonna have a bump in it. And that's how we're doing it. Realistic daytime lighting, everything is using Nanite and um, the new global illumination. So nice lighting, everything's gonna be nice. Like th those aren't lights, that's actually lit from Lumen, which is what I love about Lumen. Uh, thank you for the follow. The Magic Land official, appreciate the follow. And so the, again, we're just, just kind of how the zombies are. That's my volumetric daytime night rotation. Um, so anyways, that's what we're working on right now. We're working on assets, getting everything kind of like built in. Uh, this earlier stream today, we built this server rack to, to go for. Um... No, 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 no. This is not the first day. Uh, the Magic Land official, we've been on, uh, hello, by the way. Uh, we've been kind of on off devving for six months seven months um so first iterations of the game um actually here i'll show i'll send you a youtube link real quick because i have my content up the very very first iteration of this game was in may i think let me look let me look i can't tell if that was this game or not it was this game, but that wasn't the first iteration of it. Um, okay, did I delete all the old iterations of it? I did. Oh, no, wait, there's another page. Ha 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 ha. Uh, okay. Yeah, first iteration of this game was January 2024. So we're almost at a year. Um, and if I grab that video of what it looks like, that's what it looks like. So um, you can see my stream HUD was different. That was my old stream HUD. 
And uh, this was using um, ALS, which is uh, Advanced Locomotion System. Um, and we have gotten a lot further since then. And again, we kind of, that was, I, th I would think that was one week of development from that video. That was like one week of us like kind of working together and playing and making it work. Uh, ALS is in there and um, that's using, uh, what is it using? ALS and some basic shit. I'm trying to think of if there was anything else that I plug in wise. I think ALS was the only thing that we plug in out of that one. And then um, let's go to let's go to April. I need to make a highlight reel of all the different de development. So in April we moved into um, yeah. Okay, cool. I'll link that in. And so this is April's gameplay. Uh, and in April, you can see, um, we're still gonna have that where you can shoot off the arms and everything else. We're not gonna have it to where you can actually shoot off the arms. Um, but right now it has 3D physics. So uh, if you shoot the arms, they get disabled. And so they don't use them anymore. Um, they don't lose their limbs, but they do physics render down and um, that's how, kind of how we work it now. And then, uh, just to give you kind of an idea, that was um, April. Let me get you, that was April, May, June. Yeah, let's try this one. I think this one's the best version of it. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is pretty good. Got some nice fun bugs with it. Um, this is, that's June. And so that's working on physics and playing with all that. And then uh, there's a bunch of other ones in the in between time. Long story short, uh, we have it has server technology. It's um, Mester already did most of the server stuff. We have to just kind of redo it with all the new code that we've added. Um, I have no clue when it's going to be released. I would I would like to say that if Mester and me do all of the things that we want. Um, that we will uh we will be back at it um full force i'd say maybe march april for an initial test i don't know we'll see it, it all just depends on um you know how fast we get through things right now mester um yeah it, it's not good you're, I know what you're talking about. It's what everybody does, but it's not good. It's really bad. Um, I can't remember the name of it called Mix Mixamo. They bought it out. And it used to be, again, it was a good way to kind of set yourself up. Yeah, it's old. Um, it's a good way to set yourself up. And if you don't know art, it's a great way to set yourself up, but it, it has lots of problems. Um, oh yeah, psh, we're art, that's all good. Like that's already done player movement that's that was the basic thing that we did so here i'll show you i'll show you on our test level so this is our test level where we basically show all the the crap off um we we test bedded 5.1 early on and the, the reason why we want to do that is because again i like being on the cutting edge so does mester um we share that in common that's why we like devving with each other so we have what's called um, the warping going on. So that way you can actually auto detect edges and then it warps you to it. So we actually have ledge grabbing um, and it doesn't matter the height of the ledge. We don't have to define anything. It's, it automatically uses code to determine the edge ledge and then warp you to the proper location. And then we have sliding um, or vaulting as it is. So if you sprint and you, oh, you, gotta, you gotta do it at the right angle. Um, 
if I sprint and I try to see how that's got those red lines, that says it was too long for me to slide across with the speed that I had, but that's not. So I slide across. And so we have uh, vaulting sliding across based off of the height. And when you go, and so if you try to slide across certain things, it doesn't work. And like I said, you can't vault, you can only vault over certain things and slide over certain things. It's based off of distance um, and it's all mathematically done. So you can go through and then we have normal slides. So you can slide under objects. And so it's pretty robust, um, very, very movable system. I love it. It's one of my favorites. I am very big on uh, movement. Um, so my movement is like the number one thing that I care about making sure is solid and smooth. We have the ability to crouch out and um, we'll probably have a dodge or a dive in here. We don't right now. Uh, made elevators. Obviously I need to make buttons right now. It's trigger based, but we will have it button based. And then the elevators go based off of where you set them. So you can set the time, the different rate. I've already done that via this. So that way you have different levels. Um, and so, yeah. Those are outlines for objects. You have backpacks of our weapons, inventory objects. And then when you pick up objects, they go to your actual inventory and show on your belt. So like you can see, I can see the two water bottles. Those are my quick slots. Um, this is definitely not my main job. I am in the military. My day job is uh, eight hours in the military. So this is all of our, I just put the clothes on. You'll see the backpack. And then there's grenades, or there was grenades. I don't know, I think they fell through the world. Um, but you could pick up grenades. These are give you health. It's survival game, so it's got all that in there. This is the different weapons you can pick up. Uh, you can get different armor. And then that's showing you all the other things that you can pick up, like, uh, you know, screws, nuts, bolts, metal scraps, all the other crap that you can pick up. Uh, where's the zombie at? Oh, there he is. He's over in the back. And so I'll show you shooting out. He shot out his hand, shoot his shoulder. So now he's going to walk different and shoot out his shoulder. So you can see his, his entire animations are physically based. You shoot out the hips, shoulders, and it changes the way that he, he runs. And when he tries to dodge and dive, he's going to try to pick himself up. You can shoot out his legs. Once you shoot out the legs, they stay on the ground. Um, we haven't finished this up. Yeah, thanks, Cookie. Yeah, it's getting there. We're getting a lot done. Um, you'll be able to shoot his arms out, and then he'll crawl. Uh, he doesn't crawl right now because we didn't get that done. So, and then you can kill him by shooting him in the head. Right now, the only way to kill these zombies is by shooting him in the head. And they they physically move everywhere they go. So, yeah. And zombies can open doors and all that other fun stuff. <laughs> Almost made it through. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's what that's kind of where we're at with this. So you can slide over. It all costs stamina to do, and that what I again, I, what I love about our system is it's so dynamic. I don't have to like add any edges or do anything special. It just takes the model based off of the actual model, finds the edge, and then I can do all of this. which is Mester and me, we spent an entire day of just sitting there and coding that, um, which was fun to do. Because the artist and we got to play together, you know? Yeah, 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 that's actually true. So see how he's, he's crawling? 
Um, again, it doesn't work right now because we, we have stopped making it work. But as of right now, he's crawling with one arm because I shot out his other arm. And so you can see how that arm's being dragged. And then if I shoot this arm out, he just lays there because he can't move anymore. So I might make the head kind of like uh, at you. Um, but yeah, yeah, B speed will be adjusted accordingly. And yes, this is 100% full multiplayer. Uh, it's already, it's gonna have dedicated servers. Um, so yeah, 100% multiplayer. And we already have the dedicated server stuff running. Oh, I forgot to show you cars, my bad. Um, Master's car is kind of weak, but I'll show it to you anyways. This is the, this is the Mester car. This is the first car that we made. It has gears. It's not fast, but it works. It was good handling though. And so we have nice cars. Um, well, good handling. That way you can get in between and get where you need to go. And you can get out of the car. I think you can flip it. K, J, U, oh, it's U, ha ha. I couldn't, yeah, okay. So, um, that's the basic car. We have we have my favorite, uh, which is the go-kart. That's my favorite, absolute favorite. Blueprints, uh, vehicles. Miscellaneous, yes, right here. That's what I'm talking about right there, bruh. So if you really wanna be a G, you uh, just get in the go-kart. Shipping. <laughs> ah, and you can run over and kill them. Obviously, we need to make that look pretty um, to where it does physics and, and bloods and all that other stuff, but you can run over and kill them. Mm. All right, well. Oh, man. I love the diving part. Yeah, we're, we have them where they dive at you, and then um, when they dive at you, they can latch onto you. That code is kind of bugged right now, but that's kind of going to be the goal is where they can latch onto you. And that's how these ones specifically kind of kill you. Uh, BMV, BV, SUV. Um, okay, how are you dealing with networking code? Synchronizing, ping differences, etc. I doubt any of the shelf plugins will do the job. Uh, so again, none of the things that we are doing have been plugin based. Um, the only plugin that we have that we have not created ourselves is the Dynamic Sky one. And we actually already did create that one. So you can see uh, this is, this right here is a dynamic sky, um, which is kind of funny, uh, sky. So this is our dynamic sky that I created. Um, and so you can set kind of the, the time of day and the speed. So let's set it to five and I hit Mester set it to zero. We set it to five. This actually has a time of day with sun and moon and everything else. Um, but what it doesn't have is it doesn't have uh, volumetric clouds. And the reason why it doesn't have volumetric clouds is because I could never get them to work the way that I wanted to. But this does have dynamic uh, night and sun. I'll go to night and get the moon. And so you had dynamic day and night. And so the, I, again, I created this myself with a little bit of Mestra's help. Um, but. I didn't have volumetric clouds and I tried to make volumetric clouds and when I did, I failed horribly. So um, I found there was a plugin um, called, uh, I'm about ready to plug it, I apologize, or I don't apologize. The guy, you know, he, he deserves it. So um, it's called uh, Ultra Dynamic Sky or UDS. Uh, let me see if I can get a link for it. And so 
Um, yeah, Ultra Dynamic Sky. Let me grab... Is there a URL? There used to be a way you can get a URL for it. Um, anyways, th this has the most amazing, like, volumetric system. Um, you can literally, if I type in UDS or Ultra Dynamic Sky. Yeah, okay, cool. cool. Um, I can literally you know, type in time of day. So it does all the things that I was doing before, but it added in volumetric sky and it has a weather system too. So um, the only argument or gripe that I have with his system specifically is, is that he's, he's still using a skybox and UE5 has gotten away from skyboxes. So this is the only thing that we are um, using a plugin for. Um, anyways. Uh, networking code is hard to do well to keep it fair also versus hacks that looks uh, fun indeed getting the game working is higher priority than keeping cheaters at bay um, so that's true we're not worried about cheaters right now again this is server hosted so um, we're you're gonna you, you basically host your own servers uh, we're using the epic online services uh, which we've tested verified it works you can join in on your friends and everything else um, we are not going to be releasing on Steam at all in any way, shape, or form. I haven't done this much talking in a while. My voice isn't used to it. Um, so, and that may change, but as of right now, the plan is not to release on Steam. Um, so, anyways. This, I actually do like this plugin, because uh, again, I can control the cloud coverage for Dynamics. That's, that's the one reason why I want it is because I can literally turn on and off. And whoever, however he figured out the volumetric clouds, that's, that's the thing I couldn't figure out. If I could figure it out, I'd still run with my own. But he figured out how to do the volumetric clouds and they're just, they're just fucking flawless. They're perfect, you know what I mean? Like this is what, this is what a cloudy day would look like. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, the problem is, is with when you release it on Steam, right, you're you're looking at 30% cut. Like, they're just taking 30% for a market that's oversaturated. Like, why? And so, this is the, look at this. So, if you go back up, oh, look at that. That looks so good, right? So, um, this is the volumetric clouds. And th this isn't even the good version. This is the basic version. They have a, an even better version, which is called cinematic mode. Uh, but you can fly through the clouds and it just it's just nice cinematic is like beautiful but that's for like movies and renderings and other things like that what is he doing you know you're gonna lay down good boy good boy i don't know i just heard loud noises back there um so anyways that's that's where we're at with that uh i don't want to save that changes it looks good it looks amazing and this is kind of like, this is an example of what the forest is gonna look like, right? So this is your little base house. And you'll see we have rounds already started. We have a journal, so it has quests. We already had a quest mode kind of set up. It's all in there. Um, you have an inventory that, that has all the different items that you can grab. You can eat food. We have looting. So you have loot tables and you'll have lootable chests that spawn items or objects. Uh, pick up your quest items, gear, backpacks give you more loot, slots, you have weapon slots. I mean, we have all the major stuff in here. Um, my health is going up based off of stamina. It's, it's all there. So anyways, we haven't, we haven't made a tree, but I've done a lot of explaining. So hopefully this, this is bringing you guys in and getting you excited about it. So anyways, where I'm going with this is trees. We need trees. <laughs> I mean, we don't need trees, but I kind of wanted to make something that would be fun. Because my my first, what I'm going to do, we were talking about this before, is uh, I want to make a short teaser video that kind of introduces the game. And that's what we were making models for. I'm taking a break um, from those models specifically because I don't need those models right now. Uh, or, or I don't, let me say it. 
what I have to do next is, um, what the fuck? I don't know what's going on with my phone. Oh, there, that's what's going on. I was like, what is going on with my phone? Um, Koki, how are you doing? Uh, what are you using? Wait, hi, what for what are you using 3D Coat? I use 3D Coat for all my UV mapping, um, for all my textures, and I might use it for some sculpting. I love 3D Coat. I personally uh, am a super big fan of 3D Coat. I, I wish 3D Coat would fix their UI. Uh, that is my biggest and uh, I, I, I wish they would fix their UI. Their UI is absolutely abysmal. And the new update made it even worse. No, Maya's UV mapping is horrible. Ew. Maya's UV mapping system is garbage. 3D Coat has all the tools in there that make UV mapping um, perfect. I'm sure you'll see it whenever I do it, but yeah, I love 3D Coat. What if I enhance? Uh, that's better. Oh, fuck. I forgot you're not in. I gotta switch it over. I keep forgetting I gotta switch it over every time. Good old buddy. He's down there laying down, being a haven, sleeping. We have four followers today. That's good. That's good. Good job. Four followers and one subscription. Hey, that's that's a good thing. That's a good day. We're we're reaching my goals. My goal is ten followers, ten new followers, ten subscriptions. Okay. We'll get back to where we were before. Back in the good old Vacum days. Ah, good old Vacum. Valley of the Crescent Mountain. Mm. Before I was an idiot and lost it all. Okay. So this is here. We need branches, right? Um, that's important. What is this? Oh, that's 3D code. I'm gonna close that. I don't need that. That one was a bad model. Uh, but -a, but -a, but -a, but -a, but -a. Um, okay, so let me look at my pine tree reference. They basically, they just have like little leaves that go out. I don't like little leaves and I don't really know. This is, I'm looking at the Pineus Jeffrey tree. What do you guys think? The Pineus Jeffrey tree. What is going, where is my mouse at? There it is. Like what the heck? Lost my mouse for a second. I need a good, a good high quality picture of a Pineus Jeffrey tree. So basically it's like a straight trunk, just like straight up. And then the higher it goes, the more branches it has, and then the branches are all needles, is what it looks like. That's what it looks like.
Uh, conifer tree. What is a conifer tree? www.google.com Standard conifer tree. Let's look what that looks like. Yeah, I guess, maybe. Well, no, because conifer looks, well, looks pretty basic. Those aren't very tall. I'm making a big tall one. You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll see. So the way this looks, it literally looks like um, from from this picture, like just fucking huge. have branches that come out you know like this was a branch which I think it, we're using the number eight right I think this has eight I don't know how many sides this has oh it has way more than eight uh, but okay well look at you mr. smarty pants I didn't know that. Um, so basically, this thing just comes out. That's what it looks like. Uh, and the branches are pretty small, from what I can tell. And so they start, when do they start? So you got one branch that starts right like here. Like, kind of like that, right? And then you got another branch that's here but it's smaller but longer it's like I'm making the Pinocchio of trees <laughs> so I could use speed tree I'm not paying any subscriptions get out of here you like right you why don't you pay subscriptions no Catch me with those subscriptions. And again, the problem with Speed Tree, other than giving me a look, um, because it would look, you know what I could use? Ugh. Well, no, I don't want to do it. I'm gonna say I could do the Mega Scans 3D assets. They have a bunch of fucking free shit. And then I could pull that out and then use that to kind of give myself reference. Yeah, I do have Photoshop. That's a necessity, man. Like you gotta have Photoshop. What am I gonna use? Trust me, if I didn't have to pay Photoshop, I wouldn't pay Photoshop. And you have to pay that crap. Plus, I have Premiere. Oh.
Yeah. I could I tried GIMP, I couldn't handle it, man. It hurt my head. A lot of those free apps I just I just can't deal with because they're just ugh, horrible UIs. I need to I need to put aside my hate for Blender and learn Blender. Cause they got some cool ass tools coming out for Blender now. I don't know though. Might have to eat my own words. Okay, so I kind of have a good layout for what I, I would go to Blender if the weighting and rigging tools weren't um, legally considered tort or yet not. Tr so that is one of the major reasons is their animation crap is ugh, disgust. Like their bone system? Yeah. No. Oh, thank you. Okay, so let's export. This is my tree. And let's see what I get. Mm -hmm. Meshes, foliage, tree. Okay, so remember we said that this was one fourth the size. So I need to times this by four. Boom! Look at that tree, boys. That's a tree. Nice. Okay. So once we get the leaves and we get everything else kind of set up the way that it needs to be, this is going to look nice. Um. And it's going to utilize Nanite, which is one of the cool parts. Get to see you back streaming, right? Hope to catch you next time. Got a page. Yeah, you're good, man. And um, if you don't catch me, go ahead and check me on the YouTube channel. All my streams are going to be uploaded to YouTube. So I now have a, a channel for that and a playlist. And it's called... Zero Day Genesis, and you can watch um, everything that I've streamed so far. They're all up. Um, some of them are in high quality, some of them are still loading, um, but they are all up, so you can watch them. In fact, though, even the one I did today earlier was uh, is up there now, and this one will be up there right after I'm done, so... Feel free to go give them a gander. Thanks for stopping in. Always love having people here. It's better to be talking to actual people than to not be talking to anybody. <laughs> so we're at almost five hours of streaming. I'm probably going to, uh, I'm probably gonna stream for about another 20 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, and get, get the dog to bed. I mean, he's already technically sleeping behind me, um, but I'm gonna get him to his actual bed. And then uh, probably talk to Mester, see where he's at. And then, I don't know what I'll do after that. We'll see. I don't plan on sleeping, that's for sure. But I do need to get kind of a focused effort on what I'm doing, so that way it's targeted. I'm hoping we get inventory done and ready soon because um, that'll be beneficial for us. Uh, it'll be beneficial for us later. 
not right now. Um, but we do need to get inventory done. So, um, I'm actually probably gonna, yeah, I'll probably just close the stream here. Um, cause I'll upload it. This is a good amount of time. I appreciate you guys being here. If you haven't already followed, please make sure you follow. If you haven't, uh, followed the YouTube, follow the YouTube, join the discord. Uh, I'm enhancing things. I'm now that I'm, I'm on shore duty and I've got time, um, in between college classes, I'm going to be streaming. And so you'll see me streaming a lot more. Um, trying to make everything look pretty and beautiful. So appreciate you guys being here. I got know we have the new lighting set up. Looks all good. I need to get a new camera, but maybe we'll make that a donation thing later on down the road. Yes, I was cookie. It's a long story. The shortest version I could give you is, is um, I'm in the Navy. And whenever I, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 you did. You did back in the UE four days back when we were, we were making, um, Valley of Crescent Mountain. Big nation. Um, that was when I was in Hawaii, 2016. But sadly, uh, you know, I got in the, I got advanced, but well, I wouldn't say sadly, it was actually a good thing. I made the next pay grade, uh, advanced up to the next rank. And uh, life got really busy. And then I went to sea and then COVID happened. And so I was deployed um, a lot and didn't have time. And yeah, here we are now. I'm back at shore duty, um, not at sea and not uh, doing anything crazy. So I have time. That's why I'm in college right now. And my goal, so my goal is to uh, retire in 2024 and then do this exclusively. I'm just gonna do game dev. I, if, even if I live on a piece of land and I've got uh, a um, a fifth wheel or something, and I live out of the fifth wheel, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my retirement money. I'm gonna live as as minimally as I can, and I'm gonna make this game or any game that I'm making exclusively. And that's what I'm gonna do because this is what makes me happy. I enjoy uh making games i enjoy the art associated with it and that's what i want to do so now that i put my 20 years in the navy um i'm ready to retire and do what i want to do so this is prep for that if i can make this while being in the navy cool and then maybe this will be a good like you know pivot point for me We'll see how it goes. Okay. Well, anyways, thanks guys for being here. I will catch you later.